I, rum chata is so good, isn't it, man? Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing, everybody? And we're back. I couldn't stay away. You're cuddling your chicken. Shani's cat. showing a awesome. lot of skin. <laughs> and she looks like she is drunk. So I think I'm right on time. I am right on time. Oh, it's a bag. Yeah, it's a bag thing. It's like the whole. Yeah. Hi, Pyro. Get that. You're like S Sala telling me to put on my fucking uh, hijab, no, right? No, I'm not saying nothing about nothing. I'm saying hit that because so, I want some of that. You got wine, I got that. Look at that leg. Holy hell. What's up, everybody? Merry Christmas Eve. We're back. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Help us. Help us, Lord. Oh my god! <laughs> what is she like fucking doing? Rate? Oh my god. What is she doing? Rev is not controlling so <laughs> Y'all. Put on your hijab right. <laughs> Put on the hijab right. <laughs> oh my god. No, don't do it. Shanny. Not this a is good haram. look. This is haram. See? <laughs> this is haram. Haram. Look at this. How Talk do they shit. always find a way to make <laughs> shit racist? They cannot ah, do anything without right. being racist. <laughs> my god. What the <laughs> wow. <laughs> we respect Muslim culture here, okay? That that was purely like That was pur purely making fun of Salah. That's performance art. <laughs> She's drunker than shit. All right. <laughs> oh my god. That was performance art. That's all. That was disrespectful. Uh, uh, put out the hijab. <laughs> put the hijab on right. Hey. Holy shit! Did that actually happen? Yeah, that did. That, that was really... actually good TV. Look at Shani and Rev making fun of Islam the way they are. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's... It's like, why? No. It was racist. No, that, that was performance art relating to another YouTuber. That that's was fucking that was. racist. There's no way around Resonator it. Resonator and Salah sounds the same. <laughs> well, I'm, honestly, I'm not that nuanced yet <laughs> with that accent. Yeah. So it's going to sound it. very similar, okay? God, these two. I and mean, Salah is more like nasally kind of, I guess. Like what? Nasally. Shani made fun of me? No. She, well, she's a racist. It was racist, No, Shani. she'd be like, I don't know who this person is. And they keep putting me in front of her. And it's like, I don't <laughs> I don't know. I think there's a lot of shit about Natter. And he just has some mental shit. Huh. I'm a demon from the depths of hell. <laughs> I don't got nothing. There you again. go. I, I'm Drink not more of that saying cheap his wine. name wrong or anything. I got nothing against Salah. Nothing. Red feather. Jinx. Oh no. We were Salah the same gets thing. mad at her. Listen to me, Rev. Listen to me. Oh, oh my god. Shit. No, I'm not, though. Now she's You're being racist shit. again. <laughs> no, I'm not. Talking You're talking shit. Shani, stop while you're not ahead. Maybe you should God. Like, get that, put that on, Jan. What? Yoshi gets lit. Huh? On YouTube. Oh, shit. We got a Muslim talking shit. I can't read it. I'm sorry. Wow. Well, yeah, you got some English in here. Wow. Wow. It would be red if we could read it. And then you got some Chinese going on. These two. 
Now, yeah, man. did he just say that? Teach us Linux. Did you see the way Red was eyeing that bottle? You teach yourself Linux. What's up, Widow Son? It's not that hard to figure out how to do Linux. Like, did you see Red looking at Linux that bottle? No, it's he just was not mean mugging that damn bottle that a second like ago. An in between between a, a PC and an Apple computer. That's yeah, I don't I like. I don't get why people are like Linux is so hard. No. Why? It's just another operating system. It's not hard. Teach yourself Linux. I'm sure you can figure it out. Everyone knows it's disgusting racism. That's nothing new. That's what they are saying. <laughs> it's so, it's really, really disrespectful for her to drink in front of him. Like, it bugs me. And I can't can stand him. You know Linux. But just... To me, that's just, God, oh, she does not gooey. give a shit about anyone but herself. Boy, sound like my best friend Brian. Exactly, Pyro. Right there. Then you know Lewis, Linux. Trash Dude, Panda, that's school, what I'm thinking, man. too. A fight is my on the way. My video said that you should, you should make your woman come if you're with a woman. That's it. Jesus. That's how you're a man. I stand by that. So, Rev, keep it to yourself. No one needs to hear world. about your fucking sex life, bro. You're supposed to please your woman. Please her then. We That's don't need it. to fucking hear about it. The fuck? Why do you think anybody wants to know? God. We get it. You sleep with a fucking freak of nature. Merry Christmas, Jesus. And you're proud Our of folks it. for Jesus. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Jesus, too. It's his day. Baby carrot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too many men don't know how to please their women. Uh, that is correct, cat. Shani, close your fucking legs. Be a lady. Who what the cares fuck what is wrong they're even you? saying? They're stupid. God, I feel bad <laughs> for you. They make sons. shit out of little stuff. Not only are you not there for your kids right now, you're getting drunk and you're on here with your legs spread and shit. Can you imagine that's your mom? Yalla. Like, no, just think about that. This is your Shani. fucking mom. Morhaba. Talk about traumatic. Danny calls my thing a bratwurst. That's what it's going to be. That would traumatize anyone. Danny says it's a bratwurst. I'd never, like, oh, God. Not a carrot. It's a fucking bratwurst. Those poor bratwurst. boys. Oh. Those poor, poor boys. Ah, fuck them. Let Dad them see think what they want to think. All the time. Chug it, chug it, Shanny. Finish the whole Brown. bottle, Holy you freaking lush. So cool, Shanny. What I are you like fucking mouth? <laughs> 16 again? Cool. Chugging but wine out of the bottle. Pissed, Whatever. It's his decision. Why are you why are you kink shaming? Really, Terry? Well, they need to get on it. Because I call this irresponsible. We love Charlie Brown music. It's good shit. <laughs> it's good shit. God, she's like three times the size of him. Maybe four. My baby. That must smell really yeah. nice to an alcoholic. There's a wine difference. It's like a wine girl. Yeah, Rev, don't you want to drink? Don't you think this is insensitive to your feelings, bro? Exactly, Roxy. Like, he literally just had to kiss Jesus is king, her mouth man. with booze on it. And he is an alcoholic in recovery. Like, one day it's going to be too much. Fact, and I know that you never peed on me. It's like, I just Oh, my that. God. Because it was not urine. Oh, my God. I don't know why people are, like, so, like, ashamed of that stuff if it does happen anyway. See? At she pissed on you, bro. 
She fucking yeah. pissed on you and she knows it. Why not be happy instead of analyzing? It's technically Shanny. sexual harassment, so. No, it's uh, not. Whatever. That's not sexual harassment, Shanny. Oh Thank my you, god. Kat. The only reason anybody knows anything about you squirting in the first place is because you guys said it. Your wife is spanking Nobody you with fucking... a meat hammer? What are oh you guys God. doing to celebrate? Get <clears throat> inebriated. Ew. Yes, yeah, send Ew. Shanny some more booze. What, are booze you... up Shanny uh, for, for uh, New Year's Eve. I want to get a candle. Why do you think Rev wants wanna, more like, booze? Or a bunch of candles. Why do you think Rev wants more booze, the, guys? Like, drip stuff of this stuff. Okay. Because she sure as fuck doesn't need it. Look. I she's hammered. And he wants people to get her more booze? I'm not buying that. He wants more booze in the house because he's thinking of drinking it. That's my guess. Oh, you don't throw up? Oh, I won't with this. No, you're done. My stomach's good. Oh, wait, famous wait, last wait, words. Wait, wait. Yes, Wait. yes. Break the bottle against the window. Break the bottle against the window. Please. It's going to be cold as fuck in there. Yes, oh, yes, God. yes. Do it. Drop it. Drop the bottle. Break the window. Come on, Shanny. You can do this for the views. You messed close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I won. Go try it again, I did. Shady. I won. Damn it. That could have been awesome. Are we going to get copyrights popped, Jules, if that was played? No, I ain't playing it. I'm not playing it, Jules. <laughs> I got my music. It's Christmas time. Not, not Yoshi time. No, that ain't. Shani, this is only five of a 24-hour stream, and... You're never going to make it. I know, Aries. I haven't even puked yet. It goes against the Christmas spirit. That sucks. You you want to puke, Shani? Rev's Shani? member looks like a regurgitated Vienna sausage. That's not Ew. true at all. A regurgitated Vienna sausage? Ew. Yeah. That ain't true at all, man. It's definitely no, true, No, I know Rev. that ain't true. No. Rev, Rev, Rev. You have uh, a small... Oh, God. <clears throat> Jesus, Lord in heaven. Damn, she had to ruin that More moment. of an upbeat song. Rev, you this got a is small Charles dick. Schultz. I can't function. Whew. Why do I feel like I'm drunk just by watching this idiot? It's because Vienna sausages are small. That's the joke that was being made. Oh my god, I can't believe he thought he had to explain it. Explain he had it. to explain the joke. He had to explain it. Meow, meow. What the fuck was that? What was that? How am I? I'm lit, bro. Everybody in the club. Oh. Where did oh my, my hubby go? He like disappeared. Did he become What's a up, ghost? What's up, baby girl? What's up? Please notice me. How are you doing, baby? Oh, she's hammered. Oh, he's peeing. She's drunk. There's no way she's making it twenty. She's not even gonna make it How till tonight. How moist is the couch? It's three o'clock, four o'clock there. Wet. Ew. Just dripping. Hi, Whistle Demon. You haven't missed two too much. <sighs> they will have like to ten burn minutes the house worth. down when this cow leaves. Shani's drunk, basically. Probably. Shani drank a you lot of wine. You should come him to you. Probably. He finally ri wised up and ran. Probably. Woof, woof to you back, Jules. 
Will you let Rev sniff your- No, Sven. Trolling them back is the best. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you for saying the couch is dripping wet. I needed the laugh. <laughs> Awesome, please notice me. That's great. <laughs> I should let him have a life? No, he's mine. He's mine. I own him. You don't own him. I own him. He's yeah. my slave. We know that's what, how you really feel, Shani. So you can <laughs> act like it's a joke, but... I own you! <laughs> Michael said Rev wants to get her drunk so he and pass out so he can go get some hookers. So you're okay with slavery? <laughs> yup. Completely. 100%. Totally. What? <laughs> <coughs> Does Rev wear a leash and collar? Yep. Totally. Are the cats sleeping now after their feast? Oh, yeah, they're gone. Yeah, I think so. Baby, I own you. You're my slave. That's cool. See, he's cool with slavery. He's, he's cool with being my fucking slave, bro. Yeah, I've been I've been uh, groomed for that because there's a Nine Inch Nails song called Happiness and Slavery. There you go. See? See? That's it. Got a problem with that? It's our kink, don't you know? <sighs> Is it hot in my home? No, not really. This is nice. It's it's comfortable. Yeah. Bro, I should have a cigarette. Yeah. It's a jazzy Christmas Eve. My cousin would be happy about that. Whoa. Yuck. Yucky yuck. That's a sweet nose. Hitler invented the microphone. Agree or disagree? I disagree with that, Aries. It's the wambulant. Wambulant. Uh -oh. wambulant. Someone drunk drived. Possibly. Probable at this time of year. Excuse me. Excuse me. Me scusi. Me scusi, me scusi. This feel this woman has no feelings toward others. She is always acting a fool. Acting to fool you. Wake up, people. Yep, totally. I am. I'm trying to fool you. Completely, one hundred percent. Why do you keep going on You're right. about You got this, me, Tiggy. Oh my god. You got me. I'm caught. She's fucking annoying. Money. Oh no. Money, 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 money. Disagree, Donkle. This is a burpader. Anyway. Oh my god. I'm not mean to you, Grease Bunny. We just have our arguments and our disagreements. <clears throat> it happens. I think you're a cool chick. You're probably really fucking hot. So like, I, I oh god. You know, Here we go. I don't know. Here we with go. You. You know the truth, Shani. I know I know the truth. Do you? Jewel says, I'm just so hot. She is. She's a sexy fucking bitch from hell. And she admits it. And likes it. She's a naughty girl. She always needs a spanking, but she never does. Because she's like, you can't touch me. I'm a solid three. This is a monster! Rawr! I don't know, Painlash. 
I do not know. What did their grandma get it get the boys for Christmas? Well, both our mothers are dead. So nothing. <laughs> orphans. Yeah, we're fucking orphans. Get Liddy McTitties. Yay. Titties. Titties. Nice. Same Hi, here. Lloyd. Orphan party. Merry orphan Christmas party. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're in an orphan party. You're adults with no morals or values. Oh, no. What are you gonna do about it, Tiggy? Keep exposing me. <laughs> now I want to be an orphan. I feel left out. Don't say that. That's horrible. <coughs> yeah, think about Shady's kids. <coughs> How would that make them feel as orphans and all? <coughs> you were raised to adulthood, that not doesn't orphans. Matter. That doesn't matter. Both parents are dead. That's orphans. Yeah, and the proof of that is at 27 or 20, however old I was. I was like 30. I got oh, a notice shut up. as my rights as an orphan. Karma will get you. That's why I laugh. We get to see it happen. <laughs> Rev, you laugh arguing at about being an orphan? Seriously? That sounds like you're a piece of shit person, man. Okay, so who's paying man? my rent this month? Your vagina, Jules. <laughs> vagina. What the hell? <laughs> now that sounded wrong. What's paying your rent this month, Shaddy? Your vagina, Jules. <laughs> what the hell was that, dude? Yeah, Jules, we need your only fans. <laughs> yeah, let, let me start, start my, my only fans. <laughs> we'll launch board it off of Woo! <laughs> we'll, we'll launch your shit it, 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 It's just a Yoshi with a picture of your cooter. <laughs> Imp implanted onto it. God. Oh my God! What the hell? It would work. Yeah, that would Jules work. Jules posts really weird vagina photos of Yoshi on her OnlyFans. It's an idea. It's an idea, and it would work. Okay, you have, you have Yoshi, over her privates, right? Yeah. And 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 you put. You put Yoshi's private area at her clitoris. Yeah. And then she just plays with herself, and that's her porn. Yeah, there you go. That's great. That's awesome. I'll <laughs> give you all a free month. Right. Oh, my. What? <laughs> that's how you play with Yoshi. <laughs> that's what you call your streams, playing with Yoshi, number one. <laughs> playing with Yoshi, number two. It's a winning model. You got it. You know that would become a really high kink thing for some certain <laughs> people. It would. <clears throat> All right. Well, glad to know where their priorities are at this Christmas and uh, what's on have their I, mind. Let's play Never Have I because, Ever. Um, oh, God. I don't know. I'd be sad. I'd be sad that I didn't have my kids, I'm but shit like that. that's just me. Yeah, These I've two are having the show, having best Thank you, Jules. Christmas Good. vacation. That's what this is. It's Christmas vacation. Good. Well, I don't want to do it. Well, I do. Like, like I don't want to be the host of said game. That's what I meant. What is even going on right now? That's content theft. 
Never have I ever had my kids taken away by the state. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. But they weren't taken away by the state. No, they weren't. Yeah, they were. So. That's what people yeah, they keep were. getting wrong. Anyway. People keep getting that wrong. They were not taken. <laughs> Ugh. It's so gross. The whole thing. I don't have anything else to drink. I drank my bottle, man. It's gone. It's gone, bro. Shanny, you know your ass is going to be passing the fuck out in a minute. Wait. Oops. See, that's why I put my hand over there, just in case. A couple drips. That's right. God, she's so gross. Why would you pour it in your hand like that? Ba 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 Get it, Jason. <laughs> Just a little bit. Do 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 Boop do Boop boop a doop boop boo Boo do 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 boo 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 da 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 Yeah. So people are wanting to expose people for being nasty by being horrifically nasty, vile, and crude on Christmas Eve. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, Belly? <laughs> yeah, we should smash for Christmas Eve, definitely. Christmas Eve smashing. Ew. Mm. Mm. You're a naughty boy. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind it. I'm pegging. Cool. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Hold on. <laughs> God. It's just so fucking nasty. Look at, Shani looks like she might be about to puke. She's like, <laughs> Peg it, who? <laughs> <laughs> fucking evil ass laugh. <laughs> Maybe. What? I don't know. You I just saw what Jewel said, and I'm like, yeah, let's do that. Go upstairs, get that out of the way, and we'll come back. Ew! You're cute. I don't want them to listen. I know that. They're Ew. freaks. They would. <laughs> wow, someone said, Rev, if you were a man, you'd punch the rest of those teeth out. Holy shit. Wow. That must be G-Man. Cop said something like that. What? You'd mute, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Bruce, for the super chat. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas hey, to you, Bruce. Like ridiculous. I hope that you have a great Christmas. I know, Pain Lash, they just protection. skipped right past that. Why? Like, what? We don't need it. Nah. 
That was you? Don't Pulse need it, of bro. defiance. Not all, all natural here. Yeah. Her laugh has a bigger dick than Rev. <laughs> Pyro. Hey Sam, how are Thanks. you doing? Oh, Grease Buddy. Nice. Twitch after dark, yeah. What? Got in there. Aw, thank you, Trash Panda. My brain, no communicato. Thank you so much for the super chat. You said Merry Christmas, Carrie, and chat, and a happy Let's new year. Yes. Thank you. <coughs> thank you so much, Trash Panda. I appreciate that. What the hell are you happy for? Nothing. Absolutely nothing, Wicked Witch. I peril all day long. And I feel so horrible about how my life takes me to that I'm so depressed and, and, and full of no hope. I have to be miserable for the rest of my life. Yes, wicked. I have to be miserable for the rest of my life. Well, I think that's already happening, Shani. You shouldn't be happy, you lazy cow. Ooh. <laughs> Never know. Mandalorian, no, I do not know who that is. <laughs> Crap, these people are so toxic. It's unbelievable, actually. I know, man. They must be, like, so jealous and shit. Or some kind of fucked up shit, man. Something. Something. I don't know. They're messed up, man. Got six dollars in there. Right. Yeah. He wanted to say he didn't get the wings, but he oh. knows who did. Okay. Like, we're supposed to be mad at people or something. <laughs> Aw, thank you. God bless you. More vino on me. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. What is she even doing right now? My Queen Amber said that everyone is jealous of her. Yeah, she should feel that way, man. They just don't want her successful. CW, I don't know. Someone bought them more booze? No. She's about to drink more? You Instagram me, okay. There we go. Oh my god. Amber Lynn Reed. She's a big girl, yeah. but she's a sweetie pie, and I like her content, and I don't care what anyone says. I hope so, Dina. She's very hated because she's big. Whoa. Whoa. Amber Heard. I'm confused. Hold on. <laughs> I'm paying attention to too many things at once. Let me pay attention to the stream for a second so I can figure out what the heck's happening here. Shani's getting more booze. shirt off for even Christmas? What the fuck, man? Oh, now they're talking about drag again. 
Why does she act like an irresponsible ch child? She owns her own car. She owns her own apartment. She pays her fucking bills. And then you call her... Her house is beautiful looking. And then you call her an irresponsible child. Why? Because she likes doing things that make her happy? Oh, thank you, Trash Panda. Like, give me a break. Give me a oh, break. yeah, Sabella? That it's different in Florida than Texas? Um, what part of it? I think they're pretty similar, Texas and Florida, when it comes yeah, to Yeah, her bills are paid, so what the fuck? How is she being irresponsible? I don't think so. I think you wish you could afford the shit that she has. Probably. What? <laughs> Who are they talking about? They're talking about Amberlynn Reed. If she's getting more booze, oh my god. She's definitely going to be puking. Definitely going to be puking. Because she's already hammered. Yeah. And... All they gotta do is give her the right kind of no, booze. she's healing Because if she doesn't child. get wine, which Yeah! She... I don't think there's Whoa. anything wrong with wanting to heal that inner child of you. If she goes from wine and, till and, shot, to and, shots and shit, it's gonna be bad. And trying to feel bad over it. Like, I don't know why all that shaming on Amber Lynn over her living her own life. She's brave enough and courageous enough to put the content out there just so you could fucking criticize it like a bunch of fucking jerks. So wait, Amber Rev Lynn had to go Reed. walk to get it? R-E-I-D. Is that what I missed? <laughs> Rev is meeting the girlfriend. As if Amber Lynn needs oh, the dope a sorry man. ass to defend her. It's not about that. It's about doing the right thing by her. But yet you want to act like a jerk. I ain't doing anything wrong. What did I do to you? Nothing. Nothing. No, I don't play Minecraft. Man with the porpoise. Me too. That would be cute seeing Rev do pig pen, actually. Oh, my God. oh, I just heard Rev. He's still there. Maybe he's getting dressed to go. I know nothing about doing the right thing, Shanny Demon. Okay. Whatever you say, bro. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Wow, she's so revved to pig pen. <sighs> so mean. The Shanny Demon. Oh, really? Single dad life? Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. So, after I got done watching from, um, and streaming earlier, when I got off for a little I while... I should make that an alt account, the Shanty Demon. I was showing my mom some classic Shanty stuff, like I'll the Revelina stuff. It. Yeah. I'm, like, before my mom goes home, she's going to have seen all the, like, classic, really great Shanty stuff. Whether she wants to or not. <laughs> it's been fun. 
Ew, I don't like that she name. She just got her then. Twitch check. Oh. Gross. That makes sense. They're all like trying to like demonize my name, man. I hate that. Demonize That gives your me name? a bad spirit. Nah. Oh, my mom's nice, just like, man. yeah, these people are trash. <laughs> I'm not welcomed in hell? All right. Well, I didn't want to go anyway. Shani's taking shit serious all of a sudden. Um, which Revelina, the one, oh God, there's one, and I know there's one where he's talking to G-Man. Um, I know that one was one of the ones that she saw. Yes, I have played her some of Shani's songs and Rev's songs as well. They're beautiful, beautiful, torturous music that they have. She's not a fan. <laughs> Of that either. What is she doing right now? Like, look at this per look at her face. Let me read what's going on in the chat. See if she's <laughs> somebody said you have more elbows than Italian pasta. That's funny. You're a slinner sinner of <laughs> gluttony. What is she doing? Shani, if you don't want to be looked at as a demon, stop spinning your head around like that. Because that makes you look even more like a demon. The power of Christ compels you. Yeah, that buzz is wearing off a little bit, isn't it? Look at her. Look at this bitch. Just nice music, isn't it? Just nice and relaxing. She just is... puts you in such a nice, relaxed mode. What? Yeah. Mm. What is she doing? <sighs> this is weird. <laughs> She's just like rolling her neck. Like, did this bitch take ecstasy? Did I miss something? Like, I think she might be popping pills. Merry Christmas, cat. Because she's feeling a little too good for it to just be wine. I mean, my God. What kind of wine? I'm, maybe I do need to start drinking again if it makes you feel Enjoy that Enjoy your good. frozen pizza, bro. She's dancing. That's the only way that she night? can dance. Oh, my True. God. I am so sorry, Kendra. That sucks. Yeah, it was fucking cold here yesterday. It didn't snow, but it got really cold and it froze some of the pipes in the house. That so sucks. That was um, an ordeal. Hi, Twitch Gamer Girl. How are you? And we lost power twice this hey, morning baby, for a while. You come with me? What? Come into the other side. Oh, you know what sounds really good? Some like fettuccine Alfredo. We don't have fettuccine Alfredo. Oh, I didn't think we did. I'm like, I'll cook it for you. So we got it. We got the closest thing we got is like parm and like noodles, bro. Yeah. What? We got that situation. Look at this bitch. Oh, oh my I god. I have both a stripy and all black cats. I wish my blackie Jan was as fluffy as watermelon. Oh, That leg. Holy crap. I look like a patient from 600 pound life, but I weigh 650. I weigh 650. Yeah. That's awesome. Is that supposed to make me feel insecure? Because it doesn't. Y 
Yes, I am. I'm wearing red and green. What? I'm being that type of girl today. What in the fuck is happening? Shani, back the fuck up! We do not need you that close to Aww. the fucking camera. You're alone, 617. I'm sorry, honey. Merry Christmas. Um... It's hot Cheetos, and then the other one is, what is it called? Illuminati. That's what it's called. You're welcome. I'm here for the lonely folks. <coughs> today let me see need to fix my camera a little bit I wonder if there's a place we could order wine to be delivered to or stuff like that to be delivered to I don't think so I think there is or maybe Wagner or something. god that's so bright What is she doing? What is she doing? Oh, that sounds wonderful. I want the new Hedwig highlighter too. I've never seen that actually. That wine made you flushed, yeah. It did, man. I wanna get to your dorm, but holy shit. That is so brutal. I know it's cold it outside. It fucking hurts. Because the wind. It's the wind. If there was no wind, it's no problem. Yeah. The wind is so it hurts. Does she have her legs spread right now? Merry Christmas, Barry. What do you mean it won't let you, Barry? Taking little breaks from the fam. Do, 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 do. Baby. Yes. I need, I need you to help me. Oh my god. Boy. Look who's going to be on Doctor Who. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, he's great. He'll Neil Patrick Harris is going to be on Doctor Who. Thank God. I thought she was going to say somebody was That's giving her awesome. money. That's awesome. Freaking money. Yeah, Neil Patrick Harris is the shit. He's a good actor. The whole East Coast is cold. It is fucking freezing and shit. It's cold, cold. And the wind factor, holy shit. The wind factor is horrible yeah, right now. Yeah, it really is not nice. No. It hurts. I, I get, like, my mustache gets frozen right here. When I have to... Baby. fucking nuts. Yeah. You're cute. You're cute. Too. You're cute. 
my diabetes is hard at work too. You got banned, AWOL. <laughs> okay. Little do we know she's like mixing cinnamon and like all these different types of herbs and rocks and stuff. And she's like trying to put a spell on me and being like, make her fucking diabetes worse. What? Whatever. You kept asking about the kids? Oh yeah, she definitely doesn't want to talk about that. Definitely does not. I'm surprised, like, well, I know for me, when I used to drink, wine would make me, like, cry and shit. Like, it's an emotional kind of, like, drunk. Yeah, that's true, Kyla. He is awesome, isn't he? He's a baby, and I love him. Oh, AWOL, that was awesome. The Never Have I Ever. Yeah, he has to Why is Teddy cinnamon Teddy. in a spell? Cinnamon is common in a lot of spells. Didn't you know that? Oh, okay, maybe. Oh, okay. I'll see what I can do, Barry. Sounds like some heathen stuff. More like witchy stuff, but whatever. I'm a lightweight deer. Nobody's pal. A strain called Area 51. Crossed with miracle alien cookies and bugs. I'm reeling you. It's the blood pressure. That head is going to explode. Interesting. Is it? Thank you for sharing that, Nobody's pal. That's neat. That'd be cool for everyone to see. My head exploded. Oh, you Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Hi, Donna. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <clears throat> my head just pops off. My head just pops off? Yeah. Phew. Grow up, Shanty. Get a job. No. You get a job. Oh, God. Yeah, you get a job. You get a job. And, 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 and you do your job and shut the fuck up. Fuck me. Get on my fucking case. My God, you're such a loser bitching and complaining to someone over the internet. On Christmas. What is she doing? Why are be people being so fussy they could take a break? It's Christmas. You think so? For them? You know what I think it is? I think they just hate Jesus. Oh, that, that must be it, Shani. Mm. That, that must be it. Festivus. Soup for all. Yeah. Oh my god, how many times do we have to hear the fucking Charlie Brown Christmas shit? I wonder how it is to live every day of your life that fucking bitter. You're so bitter. You're cold as a river in the winter. This one's to recognize you. Oh. 
<laughs> the pros and cons for this year. Uh uh. I I live the way I live. I'll take it. The way it is. What is she eating now? Merry Christmas, no drama, Mama. Yuck. I'm so far up my ass that this head is actually like inserted in my ass, but I went right through it, so it looks like my head is like normally on. Huh? It's like, there's parts actually in my mouth. Okay. That's like how far I am up my ass. Cool. Cool, bro. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Skin Furby. Am I being a little too creative there, hon? That's pretty creative. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Brain Dead. How are you gonna live? Why don't you educate me how to live? God, this is fucking painful. How are you living? I think in the letter they're saying that they're telling your uncle that we live here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Con fracture in my spine. Fractured your spine? What the fuck? Adult Tattletales. It's so pathetic. It's pretty crazy. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. To be honest. Did you know an adult is living like a fucking adult? Oh my god. No, I wouldn't recommend it. What happened? What'd you do? Girl? How'd you fracture it? That's awful. Mm. Those are bomb. <laughs> baby girl. Oh, baby girl. Mm. Oh, God. I fell off a swing. I had my compression fracture of my L1. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. Are you doing any better?
People are stupid. Yeah, Jello, she's like a bird, my ass. <laughs> Is she drunk yet? Oh, yeah, she drank a whole bottle of wine. Mm hmm. Wicked witch. Anything to do with my children is none of your fucking business, so why don't you stop being fucking nuts? Chill the fuck out. Uh -oh. You're acting psycho. You're holding me accountable to what? Psycho. Your lies. Just go away. Just go away. I'm just gonna continue to ignore you now. Right, Barry? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, guys. I need to go do a couple of things. Um, instead of ending the stream, I'm just going to let it go. And let it play. And then I can run back, back in and check in with you guys and um, do it like that. Rather than just ending it. What do you guys think about that? And that way it just plays. And you guys can continue to watch it and then I'll come rather than me taking a full on break and, and shutting things down I think you did hit a nerd Wicked Witch she is not happy with you I've got to go um, do a couple of things and then I'll come back in here and check in with you guys if that sounds good to you guys Oh, thank you AWOL138 you said Carrie, keep fighting the good fight. I gotta get back to my kid. Um, like I'm an actual parent. Ha ha ha. Merry Christmas, Carrie, in chat. Merry Christmas to you, AWOL. Glad you're here. And Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas to all of you guys. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna let this keep playing, guys. And I'll be back in just a few. Yeah, right? No, you're just being really annoying, that's all. That's true.
My baby. Cute. You're cute. And you're beautiful, girl. Thank you. You look very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that pole. I'm just looking at the pole. It was a close one. It said 51% said no. But I know those 51% was trolls. So I'm going to listen to my main audience, who I know loves me, and um, do them a favor, because they don't like you, it looks like. Which? Stop getting attention. Bye. No, Tippy! Ah, the freaking chat moved. I'm saving you, Tippy. Give me a moment. Oh, more people came. Let me get that one. How's it feel? How does it feel to be blocked when you wanted to get all the attention in the world? <laughs> Tippy, I'm sorry. You're welcome, Barberry. You deserved that Christmas gift. I love Tippy. Tippy's the shit. It's like, there's got to be a time when these people just let people live their life and not like, why do you do this? Why do you do that? Don't you think about these people and these people? You're being selfish. It's like, I'm just living my life and I ain't hurting anyone and I'm just talking to people on the internet. Holy fuck, psycho. Thank you, Still Shorty. Troll or not, keep her kids out of your mouths, period. Yeah. Can you say welcome to... Yeah, welcome to the band world. Just vile, woman. Take a chill pill in life. You'll feel better instead of feeling so freaking bitter on Christmas. Holy crap. She must be spending her Christmas alone or something. I don't know. does look like someone's standing outside behind me. Oh, that's so fucking creepy. It's not, it's the bush. But that's fucking creepy. Look at the shadow. Yeah, I know, the shadow, I see it. Oh.
aliens, Krampus came to collect Jason. No! No! I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. The Trump impersonator? Yes. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. You are the weakest troll. Goodbye. <laughs> it does look like someone straight up looking in my windows. It's freaked out, man. Maybe it is the ghost of Christmas past. Maybe. You're watching Polar Express? I love that movie. Yeah, it's just. Hi, Hot Cheetos. Merry Christmas. You're sweet. I love you. I love you. I love you a lot. You gonna come here soon? Yeah. I will. Let's be honest. Who'd come collect that without a forklift? Jesus Christ, dude. Always the fat jokes. Do you know fat jokes are like one of the most... Unintelligent of jokes. It's not that anything can be done about anything, and I think once you made your point, then why go on on about it? Yeah, right? Oh, happy Yule, Christina! How are you, beautiful? No, I don't have hot Cheetos mac and cheese. That's right, Barry. Later, Krista. Enjoy your shift. Just waking up, worked last night. You're a hard work working woman, woman. Thank God you still have it in you to do it. That's true, Tiffany. Some cultures idolize bigger women. I mean, look at old statues and stuff. They're, they're gods. Thick women were not land dwelling hippos. Wow, dehumanizing. Is there something wrong with people being fat or obese? Is there something wrong with that? I mean, you want to talk about other women's bodies. I mean, what's wrong with you? Why are you talking about women's bodies so much? Why don't you watch someone who has a better body if you are like offended by mine? There's plenty on Twitch. Happy holidays, Kitsune. Mmm, small wieners wrapped around some like dough and have some freaking, you know, piggies in a blanket. Happy holidays, me too. You need some beanie weenies? Get some jewels. 
A large weenie was a sign of low intelligence in ancient Greece. Really, Christina? That's interesting. Dip some pigs in the blanket and some honey mustard. Hell oh, yeah. Ah. Let's see, now I'm talking your style. That's good shit. <laughs> but, see, but see, they were never they were not pigs in the blanket to me. That's not what pigs in a blanket is to me. It's not. Yeah. It's different here. It's because the the Polish people have their own stuff. So pigs in a blanket is cabbage and, and ground beef. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Different. Seriously, something wrong with these people. It's Christmas. Like, don't you have families or someone to hang out with or something? Or, like... Why are you people so angry? Holy fuckballs. I just got done hanging out with my family. So you decide hanging out with your family and then coming here and acting like an asshole? Oh. Shouldn't you be happy or did your family treat you like an asshole so you decided to take it out on me? <laughs> I, that's weird. Aw, I'm happy for you, Freddy. All right, dude, you're killing the fun. Go away. Be nice. Learn how to be nice, dude. Yeah. I know, man. They just need to chill, man. Aw, oh, thank you, Mr. Brain Dead, for giving Freddy a, uh, uh, a, a, a tier one sub. You're so sweet. Freddy's a sweetie pie. I really do love him. And I love Christina. Merry Christmas, Retribution. Yeah, I like the chill music too, Eileen. It's nice. It's Christmassy and and nice and relaxing and just. <sighs> oh yeah, I've sung lots of carols in my life. Here we go, a waffling, a waffling, so free. It's waffling. Here we go, a waffling, a waffling, so free. Here we go, a waffling. Wasselin. Yes. Oh, we got a, a train hype incoming. Thank you, Prawn Cracker, for subscribing, Tier 1. They just don't learn, do they? Thank you, Retribution, for the 100 bits, by the way. God bless you, Christina. You have a wonderful time. I love you, girl. Thank you, Still Shorty, for the 100 bits. We got a level one hype train going right now. That's cool. Yeah, man. That's cool as shit. No, I haven't, will twerk. Viva la retribution! Yes, we got another 100 bits. Thank you so much. We got a hype train going, baby. We got a hype, hype, hype train going. It's going choo 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 
Merry Christmas, Tiffany. <laughs> We're going to be loving here, Tiggy. Join the love. Don't you want to have some love in your life? No. Being bitter is not the way. Come on. Don't do it. Wow. Have fun with your life. Ah, oh, Freddie, Merry Christmas to you, sweetheart. Bannon people isn't loving. It's loving to me and to my audience who don't want to feel harassed. Thank you, Still Shorty, for the 100 bits. Aw, that's so cute, Tiggy. Merry Christmas, Rollinator. He, he vows not to troll till the new year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Retribution, for the hundred bits. Bodega love. Bodega love. Cha. 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 The auto mod is crazy, isn't it? It really is like the um, Twitch protecting its uh, creators, though, if you think about it. Hype train, he's my last of my bits. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Captain Ahab. Woo, hot train! We got 98%, guys. We just need a few more, or a couple, one, one more or something, maybe, to, to get it to level two. Can we get it to level two? That'll be awesome. I don't think I've ever made it a level two hype train before. I don't think I've ever made it, like, this far in a hype chain. So thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. This is fun. Yeah, man. Everything's going all crazy. It's like, wah. <laughs> Thank you, Shorty. We got 100%. We're now in level two. Yes. It's a Christmas miracle. Woo. Merry Christmas. Cha, <laughs> hola, hola, retribution, woo, level one complete, that's awesome, that's awesome, what does the type train mean, I, do you know, it's, it's a, it's a way to get people to feel like, like, to, to give, to give the streamer more, to give the streamer more, yeah, okay, that's what hype is. Yeah, it's a feature in, in, in Twitch. Yeah. Number one. Yeah, I got to level two. I've never done level two. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Like, I don't know. What's the most you've seen in, like, a hype train? I think, like, level five or something like that. Probably something like that. Something like that or something. But you gotta go to the higher ups for that shit. Yeah, I'm sure Amaranth has had like level 25 hype trains. I don't know. I don't watch enough streamers to know. Let me unblock her. Let me see. Do 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 do. Boo 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 boo.
Those Kit Kats loved that food, though, man. Oh my god, they loved the food. Oh my god, Gavin was the happiest boy, and he was rubbing the box, and yeah. Now they're all tired out, babies. Yeah, watermelon is all wretched. She's probably jealous. They are. Let's see if I can get them. The happy right? Yeah. Ah. Oh. It, it, it re-put itself, so I'm doing David Anthony, Carrie Unblocked. Oh my God. Yeah. Anthony. Yep. David Anthony. Let's hear him bitch and complain. He'll come in. Eventually. Of course he's going to come in. Hey, how's the fake Christian doing, you know? Artie Frosty. He's a rough one. Yeah. He's a rough one. So it just slowly redoing itself in the ban list because I have so many people banned. So I'm working on it. There she is. There. YouTube Music is a music app made by YouTube, and you can use unblocked or banned. Haha. You need wrench power. Wrench power. No wrench power for you. I take all the wrench power. How am I shaped like a poop emoji? Because I'm shit. That's why. Fuck. Gosh. You're welcome, Stella. Thank you, by the way. Yeah, the shit. <laughs> do 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 I got a hype train emote. Yeah, let's share that shit. It's freaking uh uh squirt or well it's a turtle. Laughing and being cute. cute mm-hmm. Emotes are being delivered to supporters. You're getting a bunch of freaking emotes, by the way, guys. Heading your way. That's right. So that's what you get for the hype train. Emotes. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Arnold Lane. Yeah, that is. That was so sweet. Thank you guys so much. Choo choo. It's so cute. Is Rev snoozing? Kind of, sort of, maybe. Oh, maybe a little. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm... I feel like I got, like, bit by a tick or something. You get tired a lot. Yeah, I, it's very bad. Maybe you should eat some Cheez-Its or something. I eat some fucking Cheez-Its. We got Pop-Tarts. Yeah, I know. Well, I got my chips, too. It's fine. Yeah, okay. It, I'm cool. It's not a food thing. I just don't feel right. Okay. Merry Christmas, Celeste. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> 
You're glad it got dark so you don't see that tree? Yeah, that was creepy. It's like, holy shit, is that G-Man standing there? He would do that, because he's that creepy. <laughs> Jimmy and the the weirdo. There's more people blocked? Holy fuck me. I don't see anyone. Let it, let it, let it respawn itself, I guess. <laughs> Verna, what the fuck are you talking about? <gasps> That's oh, right, Eileen. Oh. Jesus and positive thinking. Not not being like Oh, thank you, Puffy Kit Kitten, for giving Celeste a gift sub. That's sweet of you. We have an elf in the chat. There's a rev. That is a rev. I think you're cute. I think you're cute. Okay. This is good Christmas Eve. It is. I'm good, Kurt. Thank you. Aww. Be a nicer troll. Yeah, some, I mean, trolling can be just funny. And it can be fun for everybody. But when it goes personal and stuff, that's when it get and, and in interfering with your life, that's when it gets bad. Yeah, it, that's when it becomes inappropriate. Yeah. Thank you for all the gift subs, yeah. Yeah, thank you. It's awesome. You guys are so awesome. I love you guys so much. Yeah, you're wonderful to help us out. And we love you. Yes, we do. We do. Love uh. you. It's a nice Christmas. Yeah, they make it nice. They do. The good peep, peeps. What do you think, Watermelon? She She's loving everything right now. Yeah, she's very happy, you could tell. She is. She's like, I got my toys. She's like, I got toys, I got foods. I'm a happy ghost. I'm a happy go. Hi, baby. Did you get toys and foods? <laughs> Your little tongue. That's a baby. You barely see her. She's a floof. I know. She She's just looks dark. Like, she just looks like a pile of black feathers or something. She does, doesn't she? She's so dark. <laughs> yeah. You're the 420 kind of high elf? Awesome, Celeste. All right, that sounds good to me. Hell yeah. Smoke up with the elves. I'm down with that. The elves are always cute characters. <coughs> they're like, they're like the girls are like cute, man. The elf girls. You know. Enjoy your family gymnastics. Yeah, she's a fluffy shadow. <laughs> She's just a floof ball. Maybe I could light light it up a little bit. I think zooming in on her would work. 
And zoom on her? Yeah, zoom on her. Because okay. she's so dark, it's hard to tell. There we go. Hey, Floofball, what's your deal? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Floofy! Hey, Floofball, what are you doing? Huh? <laughs> it's like, it's like, what the hell is this? We have to put the fucking flashlight on. Hey, Floofball, what are you doing? She's like, what the heck? Why is the light in my face? All right, that's good enough. <laughs> I, I won't do that to the baby girl. <laughs> she said, excuse me. Yeah, she did do that. She's like, what the hell is this? Oh my god, she's so cute. No, there is no other lights in the room. No, it's, 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 you do what you do. <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody. How are you guys doing? Aw. Hey, floofball. She is a cute like, cat. She's like, what is this bullshit? So I did I miss anything okay, real I'm not finished yet. interesting, guys? <laughs> Some kind of insane floofball. <clears throat> Hi, Trina. Merry Christmas. You She's got banned really by Shani, pretty. Wicked Isn't Witch. She... She is yeah, I'm just coming girl. to peek in and yeah. say Watermelon hi. Watermelon pretty girls. He is a pretty girl. I just got out of the shower, actually. She's I had to go take a shower and it. get cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> She's floofy and she knows it. Oh, no. Espresso, I'm so Work sorry. I am so sorry to hear that. Can we get some hearts in the chat for Espresso? She, her grandma passed away this morning. I'm so sorry to hear that, Espresso. Sending you lots of love and prayers. <laughs> Here, you hold how much she grooms. It's like insane. I know. She's constantly. <laughs> you wonder why she grooms so much. Like, what is she getting at? Like, like. Knots, maybe. Knots or something? Yeah. Watermelon, tell us your, uh, your beauty secrets, girl. Girl, girl. <laughs> Ridiculous floof ball. She's a good floof. We're getting some. We're getting some uh, stuff on you, watermelon. Yeah, she don't care. She's cleaning. Look at that queen. What do you think, baby girl? You getting another side now? <laughs> she just fluffed. <laughs> She's just readjusting. She's like there. <laughs> A queen <laughs> needs to get her stuff. Yes. Not clean enough. Work it, girl. You have a bunch of humans watching you right now. How do you feel? Huh. Oh, I haven't talked yet. Oh, boy. Taking your business to the cloud. Her eyes are gorgeous, aren't they? There's a beautiful yellow. To her, like, black. Yeah. 
She's a perfect Halloween kitty. She is a perfect Halloween kitty. Like, perfect. <laughs> You're pretty girls. You're floofy. Oh, yeah, Brooke? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't care anti-hairball treats or anything like that because she doesn't throw up or anything. But if she was, I would start getting her that stuff. Yeah, our cats don't have hairball issues. Oh, thank yeah. you, baby girl. Thank you so much for the super mm -hmm. chat. Oh, Merry thank Christmas, you, Hot Carrie Cheetos. Chat. Stay warm. You too. Merry Christmas to you, baby girl. She's Binks if Binks was a girl. Yes! <coughs> Zachary Binks. <coughs> I know, Tiggy. That's a good question. Yeah, we, we need Gavin. We do need a Gavin. They're so cute. All right. <coughs> Titty shot. Wow, that's... Holy shit. <laughs> you fucking put the light on it. Jesus, Jason. They're, they're like, what are Shani and Riff doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> they're going to debut a, a surprise OnlyFans stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, God, no. Know. No. We like to play Yaz flute here, Yaz flute. Glad to see Rose feeling good. What do you know? Okay. Wah! Wow. We play flute of Yaz. We do. We play the flute all <coughs> day long. There we go. Sorry, doing some uh, camera work adjusting for you folks so it's easier to see us. Yes, queen. Yes. Yes, queen. Hi, Tiny Brooks. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Bruh. Why won't I let my husband eat even a measly crumb? Because I'm a selfish wife and I'm horrible. That's why. Glad oh. you admit it. <laughs> Glad you admit it. My stomach Shady. has been so demolished after that hot shit that honestly, I I feel better not eating for now. For now, that's just the way I'm going. For now, yeah, that's it's all. only been an hour. To, oh my god. See, Jules is like a good cheerleader to have in the chat because it's like, she's like, do this. And I'm like, okay, I'm willing to do that. Wow. And then it just gives you entertainment. Yeah, this he is really He barks at your iPad when he coughs. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I've been <laughs> thoroughly entertained, that, right? Yeah, Just I got kidding. a chocolate cake diet going on. Just <laughs> kidding. It's been pretty he boring, to be cake. real. Yeah, I love chocolate Even cake Even with and the ice booze. Cream. He's just a fucking child. Even with the booze. Yes, she is, Jules. That's right. She's the queen of entertainment, man. She's good. Spicy stuff helps to clear sinuses. It also gives you heartburn and indigestion. Are you living in a motel still? <coughs> <coughs> so you guys are pulling in all nighter. Yeah, we are. We yeah, really right. Are. Yeah, right. They're both gonna be asleep. You know it. There's no way the they combo stay is up. entertaining, dude. Our combo is entertaining, bro. Yeah, and the audience helps too. Yeah. So did they she help. ever get more booze? It is Peanuts music. It is Peanuts music. It's the cutest of all the musics. Why does yeah. her hair look wet? Like, like legitimately wet. Did she wet her hair? Boy. <laughs> oh, so you can't exploit G-Man's kind, kindness. <laughs> I think it was more like he exploited our kindness, but whatever. It's greasy. Ugh. 
whatever. I, I'm so just done with that. You need more songs in the playlist? Yeah. Okay. How about this? We'll do something really freaky. We'll put on a Christmas art bell. <laughs> My God. <coughs> okay. A Christmas art bell episode. Yeah, a Christmas art bell episode. Yeah, dude. We gotta do our weird fucking alien shit. No, are oh they God. on the... Oh, yeah. I'm George Norrie, and this is a coast-to-coast -coast AM. See, I never I never heard art bell, really, in my life. Much. <coughs> Am I spelling it wrong? Let me do Christmas coast-to-coast. There we go. Huh? Don't they have a Christmas coast to coast? I have no idea. Man. It doesn't look like it. Oh well, what what are they? What are they saying on coast to coast, man? I'm getting some serious ET activity, bro. You want to do the Stargate shit? That's two days ago. I, I, that's fine. Yeah, that's from two days ago. We are not alone. George Norrie believes we're not alone. One of the most verified images of giants of people who do meditation for 60 days. Like their telomeres. Soon we'll get results uh. and we'll let you know right here on Beyond Belief. Hi, Melissa. How are you doing? On Beyond Belief. That's priceless. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna do this shit? Probably. I don't know why that does that. Tesla wanted for you. Look what happened to him. Gross. Yeah. So they're about to watch some Star Trek shit? Yeah, Jesus died for everybody. Yeah, man. Exactly. Amen, Mary. 617. I agree. Yeah, bless you. We all should love each other, man. We gotta have Chinese food for New Year's. Yeah, we gotta try to have Chinese food for New Year's. It's like a thing that always should be. Truth, man. Yeah, man. Like, this is one of those streams for us lonely motherfuckers who don't have any family or anything for Christmas. Sure. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it, and these idiots are like, don't you feel bad that your sister aren't with you? Of course I do. That's why I'm doing this. Yeah. It's a good distraction. Yeah. Drink and smoke it if you got it. Exactly. It's a tradition for my mother and me that we would always have Chinese on, on New Year's. And I like that. I would like to keep that. Tradition. Chinese on New Year's? Yeah. yeah. I like it. I'll take that shit. Cool. Baby girl. You'll take anything that Oh my god, gets. why the fuck are you being a dick? better that way. It's just not there. Like so. Shani already had her wine. <laughs> I did. We have money for more wine, but he doesn't oh want... It's yeah. too cold Dude, to go it's, out. It is period too cold. Yeah. It's just brutal. Oh, it's brutal. My son is at his grandma and my hubs is at work. I pick him up in about two hours from Christmas Eve service and the hub should be home by time we get home. So I'm bored right now. That's why I'm here. Yeah, oh, right? <coughs> I might do that. I'm just kind of messing around right now. What time? You know what? I'll, yeah, that I'll might go be on Discord it, Tiffany. And talk to you. These are supposed to be some of the um, most verified images of John. Because I think that I'm going to wrap up this stream for, for now. 
Would you guys sixty days uh, and we can lengthen our telomeres, huh? Want me to leave it going for longer? It's Are you guys into belief. watching it? You, you don't know what a telomere here? is? No, I don't. Fuck you. Because I'll leave it going for you guys. I'm just gonna go spend some time oh, no. with mom and the son and my husband will be getting off work sometime soon. They did screw Tesla. <laughs> but I'll come back in and um, you know, check in with you guys if you guys want me to just keep it playing. Tell them you're a compound structure at the end of a you're chromosome. Out, Chrissy, you're out. So what? Making them long. What exactly would that do exactly, Sven? Yes, please. Keep it on. We here at Gaia are committed to revealing the truth. Okay, some fat guy. I'll hit you up. When telomeres degrade, you get old. Oh, so you can live for the longer telomeres are. Yeah, that, that. And that's okay, from 60 I'm days of meditation. You guys for a huh. while. And I'll come back in and check in with you guys. Um, from time to time. <laughs> Do that like a a meditation stream. So y'all are good. All right. Yeah. Give me a little bit. I'm gonna leave this going, and I'll come back in and check with you guys in just a few minutes. Then, See you in a little bit. Uh, tonight may be uh, the biggest program in that regard yet. Cow. Now, Lynn Buchanan. He was a remote viewer for Project Stargate from 1984 through early 92 while part of military intelligence. It's more about physical health, Army. though. Okay. He functioned as a viewer. A viewing instructor for new personnel. Thank you for telling me, guys. Viewer profile database manager, as well as other miscellaneous duties. When he retired from the army, remote viewing was still classified. After retirement from military service in 1992, he founded the AWP to assist civilian intelligence, police, FBI, and so forth in locating missing children and founded PSI to develop solutions for intelligence-related data analysis. Okay. Prior to the facts about Project Star... This is boring. Online, he trained only those people. It's boring. Oh. I tried viral TikTok candy. You know what? We should do a review on Tyler Tube. I tried viral TikTok candy. Okay. We'll do that. Rev and Shanny. Hello. Or oh, our, our Ren and Stimpy version I of love that. Rev and Shanny. I love it. Yeah. Let's put Tyler Tube on here. Uh, window capture. You guys are going to laugh your head off over this dude, man. Tyler Tube. Mm. He's the shit. I'd rather do videos of things that are funny and review them than the gosh off of crip and crap that other people put on their freaking channels. This is going to be great. <coughs> You're going to like this, folks. There we go. Let's put on some Tyler too, baby. Hmm. Ah, uh, fucking commercials. Skip. Right, guys. So today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. So I have bought a freeze dryer, and what we are gonna do is we're going to stick a bunch of just a bunch of random stuff into the <coughs> freeze dryer and see how it works. <coughs> so we're gonna do uh, two loads, basically. We're gonna do one load <coughs> of just like. Bunch of different candies. Okay. And then we're do another load of like a couple different ice creams, um, and then like a bunch of different like fruits and stuff like that. And then we're gonna taste test them, and see how it turns out. First one we're gonna do is candy. We're gonna do. Hi, Naughty Rudolph. How are Sour you? Sour Skittles, Lemonhead, Sour Patch Kids. Nice. 
gummy worms, gummy yeah. fingers, and we're also going to do starbursts. I'm going to get all this laid out on some trays. We'll put it in the freeze dryer. We'll see how it turns out. And just like that, we're good to go. All right. I think I probably could have done a little bit better with the uh, distribution here. Because we don't really need this much just to have a little taste test. But you. I think we'll Might as well see something. what happens. What happens when you freeze dry candy? So. That's a nice freeze dryer. Look at that baby. What the fuck is that thing? Oh. I've never seen a freeze dryer look like that before. Yeah, it's a very simple process. That's gotta be expensive. Oh, cool. Close your vacuum line. Hit start, and in like probably six or seven hours, we'll be done. All right, guys. So before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Arup. Now, Arup has sent me one of their holiday bundles. It, this bundle that they sent me is called the Naughty List. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about the bundle, and I'm going to tell you about Arup and explain how they work. So the Naughty List bundle <laughs> comes with a water bottle, and it comes with three flavors. It comes with mango passion. You fruit, can buy freeze dried candy on Etsy. Mud, oh, okay. And orange vanilla swirl. I want to try it. So Arup is a water bottle that adds flavor to your water, but unlike other water bottles that use like a powder. Or I love freeze-dried ice cream, this man. That's not at, at, at not NASA ice cream. So what you do is you have these scent pods that you add <clears> to your stuff. water bottle. Right? Your like flavor. moon ice cream, so exactly. So demonstration, I'm going to go with mango passion fruit. Love that. Because I like mangoes. So each one of these packages has three scent pods in it. This thing is so three cool. Three I want to try one of these bottles. Put your scent pod on to the water bottle. I want to see if it works. Actually has kind of like it costs like three grand. So like you can push tippy. the scent pot all the way down and just use it like a normal water bottle. It's just regular water, no flavor at all. <coughs> and then whenever you want flavor, you kind of pull the, the pot up just a little bit. And you'll know it's in the right place because you'll be able to hear it. When you hear that sound, the water is being aerated through the pot. Sorry. Mango passion fruit actually tastes really good, and it says right here on the package each one of these pods is good for 1.3 gallons of water. So that is quite. So if you're yeah. interested, this will be the last chance to get the holiday bundle. So you can click the links in the description. You get percent off, no commitment, and then on top of that, my you finances can are none of your business. For free shipping, and just like that, our candy mm -hmm. is done. So you can <laughs> you can see a pretty drastic difference. Our skills have all, the like, Skittles look so cool. Puffed up into something. Starbursts are very, like, swollen, I guess is the only way to really. All the gummies, especially the gummy bears, are like blistered. Gummy worms are blistered. Wow, they feel really light, too. Wow. And Sour Patch Kids literally look like nothing happened to them whatsoever. At all. In fact, let me get some regular Sour Patch Kids. So here's a regular gummy worm and a regular Sour Patch Kid. You can see the Oh, right wow, it does puff up. That's then interesting. It looks the same. Literally exactly the same. I actually don't remember which hmm. which one was in the freeze jar. I think it was this one. I'll try. There must be another ingredient in the other one. Sure. Yeah. reacts to it. Just a regular sour patch kid. Freeze dried caramels. So Ooh. No Literally no change whatsoever. That's very strange. All right, let me try this inflated gummy worm. Oh, man. It's harder to bite into, huh, bro? Man. That's not good. No? The... Wow. So how puffed up it is. It's kind of deceiving because it makes you think that it's going to be like crunchy or something, but it's not crunchy at all. It's just like extra chewy. It's almost like it's just like puff. Uh -huh. And when you, when you crunch down on it, oh shit, it just becomes like the center. It's like the outside is like light and airy, and the inside is like. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is so fucking funny right now. Quick Sticks Gaming just literally said you could be job hunting right now instead of, you know, doing nothing. 
I could be job hunting on Christmas Eve. Oh man, dude, you have been in the internet for so long, you don't even know what day it is, bro. Chill the fuck out and enjoy Christmas and stop being an ass. Alright, let's see some of this cool ass shit. Most, most dense, like, chewiness ever. It's really hard to explain. And that gives me very, very low hope for these gummy bears. Because I feel like they're going to be the same way now. They're all like puffed up on the outside. Yeah, are the gummy bears? No. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, that's uh. Now, when I say, no, when I say it's horrible, let, let me be clear: the flavor is all still there and it still tastes the same. Like the flavor's not bad. The texture is really bad because I I don't know about you guys. I hate things that stick to my teeth. Anything mm. that sticks to my teeth, yeah. I don't like. Me too. And that's exactly what that what this does. This is like. How do you maintain your obesity? I eat all the foods. And it like crunches down, and all that, all this air from all these blisters escape, just like that. All the foods. All the foods. All the foods. Probably ten times more than it was to begin with. Jason, what he does is he takes like. Okay, let me let me pause this real quick. Jason, what he does is he like I put a funnel in my mouth, right? And he takes all the foods and puts them in, like, a blender and shit. And then he just, like, funnels all the foods down my gullet. That's that's how I maintain my obesity. Most of my day is filled with, with funneling food into Shani's gullet. That's the truth. Yeah. That's how it happens, bro. It just slips right down the gullet. Right? It makes things easier. You know? I know. Jason is a feeder. That's I know. It, that's it. See? But of course I am. Shani needs a feeder. Right? Mm hmm Shani needs right. foods. Yeah. Rev does get to lick the funnel after, of course. That's only fair, I think. Yeah. The house elf just needs a little bit of food. That's right. Oh! It works for us. That's right. Back to Tyler. That whole tray is kind of not bad. This tray actually looks pretty good. Let's start. Uh, let's start over here with the skills. I think this one is regular skills. Oh. Oh, like oh I love how those are. That's weird. I bet they're really cool. They explode. I bet they're cool. Come on, like them, Tyler. He does. Ooh. He's like, oh, these are good. You might have some here. <clears throat> that is crazy. I want to try that. I do too. I'm sure you can hear a crunch. They seem awesome. That is nuts. That's literally. I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat all of this. <laughs> I love them. Essentially, I'm not really a big skittle person. I am. <laughs> How do I wash my bloated body? Well, that's easy. Jason just takes me to a car wash, and the work gets done there. Oh, sure, yeah. We get the wide angles. Yeah. You yeah. know, when that thing goes like this yeah. down there, I'm, like, bending over. Right. And it's washing my bloated ass. It's just like how you wash an elephant, really. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. It, yeah. Works. it works. It works. Why you wash shaman? <laughs> Why you bath shaman, bro? Because I don't like things that stick to my teeth. <laughs> this doesn't really stick to your teeth too bad, but that oh, crunchiness God, is like it's crazy. <laughs> but that's good. The sour ones have to be even better. Yeah, I get under the chassis. Chassis. Yeah. Well, Make sure we get all the colors. Why are you owning yourself? I'm not. I'm telling you the truth. I mean, why don't you believe what I'm saying? I mean... Even when you, when you tell the truth, you lie. I know. <laughs> You're the opposite of Tony Montana. I know. You know? I know. Like, When you shit. tell the truth, you're lying. 
Christ. <laughs> this is madness. Back to Tyler. I ain't answer it anymore until we're done with this. Okay. That Come looks on. so good. The sour ones are even better. I eat the stuff all day. The sour juice kind of builds up. Mm-hmm. I gotta be careful of that. I will eat all of this. I will literally turn these cameras, cameras off and eat all of He that. sounds like you when you're eating. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh no, I love this too well, much. They look like they're gonna be the same way. It's fucking fat. They look like they kind of dry. Of weight, so. I know, right? It's like, you don't want to go back there. Because it hurts. He's tall. He's like 6'2". Man, the lemon, lemon heads, they, it, you can tell they kind of tried to do the same thing. I think lemon heads yeah. just like... Honestly, just made of different stuff. I love lemon heads. Yeah, they're the shit. They really are. I love lemon heads, too. I love the, the, the texture of these look awesome. That's why I right? want to try it. I want to try the fucking Skittles. Yeah, the freeze-dried Skittles. I want to try it. Oh yeah, the Starburst. Maybe we can find them on next one. Maybe. Freeze-dried Skittles. Ooh. Hi, Woody. Don't. Ooh, just... that is crunchy. Very crunchy. He likes it though. It really sticks to your teeth. Bad. Not a huge fan of that. I don't like that. Although the texture, the crunchiness, and the flavor, amazing. Even though it sticks to your teeth, I'll have one more. <laughs> he likes candy. Crazy freeze dry. It's so weird. Candy. Having a Starburst flavor with that crunchiness? Yeah. It's so crazy. That one really builds up on your teeth. Fast. Uh oh. I do not like that at all. Man. Uh oh. That really sticks to your teeth. All right. So that is our freeze dry candy. Water. Ah, uh, no. It did not go as good as I expected, to be honest. I expected all of this to be, like, you know, to really be different and, like, even better. But so Skittles and Sour Skittles, by far, top the list. If you're going to freeze-dry any type of candy, Skittles, <laughs> Sour Skittles. And yeah? Then, those are absolutely... I want to try the fucking Skittles, dude. Yeah, that would be. Starburst. Even though I personally don't like them, I'm sure tons of people would love how crunchy they are. Everything else is just kind of like not really worth it. I wouldn't wouldn't even mess with it. Yeah. So I'm gonna get these trays cleared off, and then next we're gonna have a bunch of different food. Man. Come so on. I'm gonna I'm gonna get everything all cut up, put it all on the That's trays. Bad. I'll show all to you when it's done. They're so good. Do, uh, bananas, apples, he grapes. What? They do, don't they? Oh, uh, what? Ice cream sandwiches. Uh, watermelon. I think there might be some other stuff, but I'm gonna get it all on trays. And I'll show it all to you when it's done. All right. So here's what we got. We have, we have, <laughs> we're going to start off with like our uh, dessert tray over here. We have a strawberry Pop-Tart, brown sugar cinnamon Pop-Tart, and a big fat Oreo cream, Oreo, not Oreo cream, just Oreo ice cream sandwich. He's going to fucking freeze dry ice cream. Oh! Banana slices. Yeah, that's the shit. I have Pop -tarts. a few pieces of watermelon, which I'm really curious yeah. to see what's going to happen with the watermelon. Because the freeze dryer sucks out all the moisture. And watermelon is... Mostly water. I bet it's like... I yes, wonder how that's going to look. It's like pulpy. Water. So, I think those are probably going to shrink up. Dry, but nothing. Like, Maybe yeah. gummy? With the grapes. I have whole grapes and sliced grapes. I'm curious if those are going to like shrink up like raisins or not. I have sliced strawberries and then one whole strawberry, just because I'm curious to see what happens. And we got blueberries. So, I'm going to throw this in the freeze dryer. And in probably 24 hours, we'll see what happens. Oh, right, so we are done. Everything is finished and come out. Oh, of that sounds so good, uh, Spleenex. Stra freeze dried good. strawberry shortcake ice cream bars. We gotta yeah. look this up on Etsy so when we get some of Yeah, we uh, try some of this. Here to here before we get to a <coughs> dessert tray. You know, we gotta have a meal before dessert. So let's start off with some bananas. These bananas feel very light. They almost have the texture. They have of, like, a sponginess like, to like it. A piece of, like, like a peanut or something. Yeah, they have a sponginess to them. They're good, though. That's good. That's really good. 
the good snack to yeah, have. I've had freeze because I. I think freeze dried would be really good for us for snackage. Yeah, I had freeze dried. That is extremely good. Say day. goodbye to so chips. We just fucking dangerous. do that to veggies and stuff. Sit down and eat a whole bag of these. Hell yeah, dude. That's Me so too. Good. I've eaten a whole can of them. Easy. From Mountain House. They would be like kind of bland. Storable food. Yeah. Freeze dried. But no, the flavor is there. And it's good. Now let's try an apple. I wonder if it's even. Oh, oh yum. Oh my god. It was so crisp. So yummy. Altered state. What? Oi. Nobody cares. Next time I get paid, I'm gonna get premium, so I don't have this problem. Yeah. Right? Okay, the banana has a good, like, crunch to it. The apple is like, I don't even know how to describe that. The apple has like a, it's just so chewy. It's so chewy. Yeah, like you just, like you bite down on it and just like kind of like mushes down like a, like something that's just really soggy. You don't like that's the texture. Good. You don't like the texture. Of apples? Yeah. The watermelon. Which He's a, he's the watermelon very, very textured. Like big game. Like yeah, watermelon like didn't shrink that much, this, did it? No, quite a which bit. Which is like some type of. Gummy, it looks like. I'm not going to eat this. No, you <laughs> eat it. Like gooey. Try it. It's fine. Which is probably don't don't pussy out, Tyler. Come on, man. Other pieces like I'm gonna show everyone the battery stuff. Oh my god. That'll be great for Christmas. Oh gosh, it looks like it's yeah. Well, They're gonna love this shit. Alright, let's try this one. Mm. Texture is not my favorite. It's really sticky. I think where it has so much sugar in it, it's just so sticky. It's it really, sticky? really reminds me of eating cotton candy. That it, like it looks mm. like it is something. You put it in your mouth and just the whole thing just dissolves. And it's like condenses down to this one light, tiny little piece of something that's sticky left. But it has good flavor. So let's go into these grapes, which are like still gooey. The whole grapes. Oh no! Yes. Boy, oh, you guys want to see this? It's actually not bad. I thought that was going to be disgusting. That just tasted like a... <coughs> to be honest. But it was nowhere near dry. These little pieces right here. Well, oh. They be should the be thing. raisins, the grapes. <coughs> oh, yeah. These are nowhere near dry. Shouldn't they be like grapes? Oh, they cut in half ones, aren't You would they? think. It's weird. Alright, so... Watermelon and grapes. Yeah. Don't freeze dry those. Those do not do good being freeze dried for some reason. They're just so sticky. Let's go with strawberries. First, let's take a look at our whole strawberry. This thing did not get freeze dried at all. What even happened to this? It's like. Oh my god, ew. It's like it's That's down weird. Like that same consistency that you That's get. not like a strawberry. Like that, uh, strawberry like goop. That you put on like uh, strawberry shortcakes, right? It's almost like that, but in actual strawberry form. That's all over my hands. So let's t this. Let's go to the strawberries. The strawberries. Let's see. Ah. Let's dry. I had. I. So I you had, gotta cut them for them to like freeze dry. I had cans of them too. Yeah. Cans of them. Tons of them. Delicious. Freeze dried strawberries. I made homemade ice cream with them. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Delicious, actually. That sounds really good, babe. It was amazing. So good. <laughs> really good. Uh-oh. Hey. Come back. I'm going to eat all of those off camera. The blueberries have just, like, squirted out all kinds of juice. Oh, that's crunchy, though. Yeah, right? The, the juice is, like, really sticky. That looks so good. 
Some of them are not dry. No? Blueberries just don't dry that well. Hmm. I mean, that's good. Like this one, I'm about to show dry. you guys something really freaking cool. I'm going to have to mess around with some of the settings on the freeze dryer. But the ones I mean, they seem pretty good. The fruit and stuff like that. I'm wondering about the ice well, cream. I don't really have any... Oh, I love that. Let's freeze focus dry. on our dessert tray. So, I want to freeze dry some ice what cream. What has caused this ice cream to like blister out like this? It's but fine. It did. It makes no sense to me. But whatever. Let's start with the Pop Tarts. Alright. What the fuck, dude? Jeez. Break your teeth. That is not a good result. No. I don't know if that's freeze dry. Or if that's just stale. <laughs> I don't think you get the same effect if you just left it out. It stales it out? I mean, it's a little crunchy. I think it's just stale, to be honest with you. Now this, this is just a stale Pop-Tart. I have had brown sugar and cinnamon Pop-Tarts that were stale. This is a stale Pop-Tart. As he eats it. <laughs> He's like, I'll still so, eat it. Not, Not good. Really the top of the list. Now these ice cream sandwiches, these things are hard. Like it's Michael's great bake. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's just fading the, the fucking thing. thing. Holy shit, man! Oh, oh wow, kind of destroyed it. But you, you get what I'm saying. Very hard. Like oh, pillow. Oh, well, we can try it still. Hi, Absinthe. It still pretty much tastes the same. Like, you still have the chocolate and vanilla flavor. Like, it still tastes like you're eating ice cream, but the texture is just so far off. It's very, very strange. Really? This blistered out ice cream. So good. I want to try it. Freeze dried ice cream is amazing. I want to try it. This is so good. Am I old and I'm like, yeah. Without being freeze dried. Hi, yes. It's Merry Christmas. It's so good. Oh my God. <laughs> You'll know when you're old when you're so old. Good. Delicious. Yeah. Ice cream, amazing. Everyone treats you like you're old. Amazing. Everything else kind of like, eh, take it or leave it. But ice cream with strawberries and bananas, that is, that's beautiful. Uh. The Oreo one, so good. So, so good. After watching me try all these different foods and freeze drying all I got pee -pees. Things, You I got know, pee -pees. Man, Probably mm -hmm. most of you are sitting there, and the only thing that you're wondering is, <coughs> why didn't you do yeah, any yeah, pickles? Yeah. I didn't forget about the pickles. Uh. Obviously, I have pickles as much as I don't want to. I'm going to put them in the freeze dryer. You look cute. I'm going to try them. I'm going to show you guys that even in freeze dried, pickles are absolutely cute. disgusting. So, Can see, you know, the, the pickles are done. Battery they're dry. From Tyler. Thankfully, I'm so yeah. happy they're Thank done, you. and I'm just okay. so glad it's that so I get to try cool. these freeze dried pickles. They look like He's doing freeze dried pickles. Garbage, really? That's what they are. Yeah. They look a whole lot different. Oh, Alright. Pretty hard. Oh. That's slow as shit.
I mean, eventually you're going to stop getting carded, so that's just, the, you know, it's kind of the way it is, but my sympathy to your husband. There is a Gavin Kit Kat emoji. He's in there. What up, what up, what up, boy. what up? Watermelon sleeping. Check it in with you guys. What do we got happening oh, here? It should feel so good. It's nice and warm. Yeah. It's warm in here. Oh. What is that? I like that it's warm in here, though. Yeah, it's good to do that it's warm. Right? It's too cold out. All right. Let's see this. Oh my God, they look so weird. What did I miss? Yeah, no. Freeze dried pickles? Yeah. They're like styrofoam. And they still smell horrible. I cannot express to you. Did she show her butt? To try these pickles. I'll go for the bigger one because I'm sure that's what you all want. Oh, it's a freeze dried pickle? <laughs> it's still a pickle. I don't know. My eyes are watering. I didn't know you could make a pickle any worse. That's horrible. I always want to try one out of the jar. Just so I can I missed your butt. If it's worse out of the freeze dryer or not. Oh, how do you even Let me go back that? on Is my phone and see what I missed. Like condensed or oh my god. It's like, it's like concentrated. Hold on. So you bite into it. <sighs> They do give like you cash, food. yeah. And you just have this like super concentrated, nasty pickle taste. I I do not want to do this. This is so gross. I'm literally gonna try one out of the jar just so I can compare if it's work if it's better or worse than the freeze jar. Oh it's my god. Those are not shorts. Those are definitely underwear. Oh my god, she showed her whole ass. Okay. Jesus. Shanny. Shanny. This is so much worse. Really? Probably, I would rather eat Happy Christmas, Absinthe. This is so Enjoy. bad. And it's so concentrated. Whatever freeze dried whatever the freeze dried process. Freeze dried freaking pickles. pickles makes them if you so like much pickles, worse. it's probably delicious. Stay away from that. That is disgusting. That's all. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. You hate pickles, dude. See you next one. It's like, of course. Yeah, man. subscribe to Tyler Tube. He's a fucking cool ass dude. Yeah, he's cool. He really is. I'm gonna take a quick break. I will be right back. I need to check something real quick. Oh, she's taking a break right when I come back. Alright, guys. Well, I just wanted to check in. I'm going back to uh Chill with the family for a little bit longer, and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Bye! Uh, all right. We are back. Sorry about that. All right. Let's go to the video. I want to show you one of the most coolest things this dude has done, okay? Because he he's trying to get to 1 million subs, okay? He's at 741K. Right, guys? But he does the most coolest experiments I have ever seen in my entire life. Mm -hmm. Just amazing. And we found him from the Area 51. Place. We did. We found him from the Area 51. Uh, Naruto run. Yeah, the Naruto run. 
me see. There we go. We'll start going into the battery chronicles of Tyler Tube. This is where, this is so cool. Like, I'm not kidding you. These experiments he does with batteries are the coolest things I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah, don't repeat this at home, guys. He's a professional. So, uh, let's, go ahead, let's get all 500 batteries hooked up. We could have a problem, but hopefully we don't. And I'm not going to lie, I am a little bit nervous. What does Rev think of David Icke? He's awesome. Merry Christmas, guys. Later, pillow. Oh. All right. As you can see here, I have 500 nine volt batteries. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect all these batteries together for a total of The truth shall set you free. Hundred volts, and we're just gonna shock some stuff and see what happens. But before we do that, I need to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, it stands for a Virtual Private Network, and basically what they do is they encrypt your data to keep it safe. Let's say that you are at a hotel, you're at McDonald's, or you're just anywhere that has a public Wi-Fi connection. If you are connected to that public Wi-Fi without any type of VPN, no encryption, no protection, and a hacker is also connected to that same network, they can get your, your credit card information, your social security number, whatever it is that you Watch some David Icke shit. Phone, oh wow. my god, the robots in rebellion. That data that find is going it probably that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, they probably liked it. So nobody can have access to it. <laughs> nobody can get into it. So that, that's number one. I think I can do this though. Number two is Maybe not. NordVPN Maybe. has over 5,500 different servers across 60 different countries. Let's say you went on vacation to the UK. Can someone Ireland, please explain to Mo Russia, why or, that happens? Another country and you have NordVPN. Since so they have so many servers across 60 different countries, you can pick whichever <laughs> server you want <laughs> your internet to be based through. If you were in the UK and you want to watch say, the U.S. version of Netflix, you can be in the U.K. and set your server to the U.S. or vice versa. You can just set your location to whichever server you want, and you get that that version of Netflix or Hulu or anything. So NordVPN is not only going to help you keep your data safe, you can watch some new shows or have some new internet experiences. So if you click the link in my description, you can get 68% off of a two-year plan that breaks down to three seventy one a month. <coughs> and on top of that, if you use the code TylerTube whenever you check Netflix out, you is get boring. Free yeah, that's why I don't so get Netflix. Click the link in my description. Get your sixty eight percent off. For just now let's start hooking these batteries up. See what happens. They look like they Before ruined crazy and just fucking that seventy show. These batteries together and just shocking all kinds of stuff. We're gonna start off just a little bit slow. I have these light bulbs that are four watt. 2,000 hour lights, okay, Mo. Seven, E12, I love night this light bulbs, whatever any I'll happens. make sure to put that in so consideration. And I want to see how many batteries it takes to blow one of these bulbs. So I have eight batteries. Let's start off with just one. Let's see what we can get. You're getting Didn't shit. I really expect that. Let's go with three batteries. Let's see if that makes a difference. Alright, three batteries. Maybe it's a dead bulb. Oh, no, it's not. Three batteries gives us a little bit of something. Just just the, like the tiniest little blow. We're going to have to we'll step it way up. we got eight batteries here. Twelve more. Twenty. Twenty batteries is going to be... So, 180 volts, so we'll see what that does. Alright, it's 180 volts. I have a feeling that I know a lot's gonna happen. Ooh. Yeah. That's uh, just as bright as it would be if it was plugged into the wall. 180 volts, we're 
pretty much just yeah made. I got an absence five batteries, which I'm good now at 225 volts. oh no, just nice and the rest of these we'll see where that gets us 33, 297 volts. Jesus, that's crazy. He's going to blow up the light bulb. <laughs> it's really bright. Huh? So, nothing crazy, just a really bright light. Let's just go ahead and add on home of the box. 405 volts. Let's see what this Thank does. Thank you, Millie. Huh. <laughs> it just makes a really bright light. Just like it did before. Do we have common sense in the chat? It should be roughly like 500 milliamps in this thing, but 405 volts. I think I'd be in a lot of pain in my side if I was having some liver problems, guys. Oh my gosh. Spazzes. We should watch Midnight Mass. Oh, it's starting to. You want to. It's starting to short circuit. That would be nice. Again, you want to really see the popa? This will have to be way more batteries than last time. You want to see popa popa? Uh, we're really going to run out of table space here pretty soon. Now, this brings us up to 621 volts. And I bet that this still... 629 that volts. Is just gonna be bright oh, it's going to pop, dude. It's going to pop. It's got to pop. Uh, oh, it popped. Killed it. I was right. not even cool. Nothing exciting even happens. Somewhere around 600 volts. Let's get another one just to, just to clarify. Yeah. Man, I thought that was going to be a lot cooler. <sighs> so, uh, let's go ahead and let's get... It's a little fucking light bulb, dude. Let's what are you doing? Right, you wanted it to pop. <laughs> it's just going to be Explode. me sitting here for like an hour connecting all these batteries together. So that should be just full of excitement. <laughs> so, I th I was, I'm sitting here looking at this, and I think... We could have a problem because this is only. Uh, it depends on him if he wants so to get me wine or not. We might be able to make it to maybe a hundred. So I don't want to do that to him though. Like it's uh, really cold, table. man. And then I don't. I mean, we might be able to have it's five like banks extremely deep, cold up. but it's going to be really close. So Her, yeah, I prefer <laughs> we to drink any day. I think Shani does too. So That's correct. Here the I got some smoke. Yeah. Smoke dope. What the fuck? He's gonna kill himself someday. It's good. He he's just gonna be like Steve Irwin dying, doing something he loves, which is right, crazy fucking guys, experiments like this. That is so doing dangerous. Doing until there's five hundred of these connected, I don't think there's a reason to show you guys that. We have. Six banks of batteries, 500 batteries total. Nice. 4,500 volts. And these batteries are, I don't know how much of this you can see, these batteries are trying to collapse this table. So hopefully, oh my God. So finally, let's start shocking some stuff. All right, I finally got everything hooked up. We got all the jumper wires, everything. This is the full 4,500 volts. And I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit nervous. You just never know what's gonna happen. So I, the way I'm gonna do this is I have um, this PVC pole set up with a lead that goes down to the positive, and of course that's the negative. I have some distance between me and whatever I'm shocking. Instacart and line? Short out yeah. Oh my god, that's Obviously insane. That's I was just thinking thing. about that. And I'm just gonna you want to do that? Yeah, we could do that. Sure, you uh, get it all done. I don't, I, oh, I, I don't know how to do it. Instacart. I don't have an Instacart oh, either. Yeah, we have to get one. <gasps> oh shit! Dude, that's, a lot of power. that's remember, so fucking dangerous. Video, it was 300 batteries. It was not that bright. And it was kind Merry of Merry Christmas, damn. Well, damn. All yeah. right. So now that we have created lightning inside the garage, our first test subject is going to be this apple. Apple. And don't worry, this is all, this is unplugged, or this is unhooked. So all I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to... Yeah, put an apple like in, this. electrocute an apple. Shove the apple on here. And I want to see how conductive it is. I want to see if you can, like, if it, just by touching it, will it start arcing or just, yeah. what's going to happen? All right, we are live. Now let's see, let's see what happens with that. Oh, nervous. Ooh, Ooh. gosh. <laughs> okay. Jeez. It's just, I don't even know, oh. I don't even know what's going on in there. Oh. Oh no. 
Oh. 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 It's literally just like vaporizing the apple. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oof. Yeah. Ah. Oh. I want to do this so bad. It's actually a smoke up the garage. Alright, everything's unhooked, so we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> True crime? I I love true crimes. I'm just gonna get them to touch way up here on the top corner and see. I love them. Oh, look at that. We have the wine shop and that's not conducting where they are. Okay. Delivery, or if you want to do that. Whatever you want to do, I'll let you pick it. You're good at that do stuff. Do it like right on top of the nail. Oh. Nothing. Huh. It's not conductive. Not conductive whatsoever. No. That question. This next one, I probably could have just Googled this, but I just want the to say Idaho so murders. I, have I haven't looked into water. that actually. I you guys, but I've always heard that distilled water, uh, so pure or whatever, or it doesn't have minerals in it or whatever it is, I've heard that distilled water does not conduct electricity. And I've also heard that, like, whenever you drop your phone or something, or some electronic, whenever you drop it in regular water, that you should wash it off with distilled water. Everything's closed. distilled water doesn't have any minerals or anything to conduct the electricity, so it's not conductive. I don't know if that's true. Dump out some distilled water. I think the places are closed. 4,500 volts. Yeah, I think he's even closed. Yeah. I think he's closed. Because I think he's Christian. Oh, okay. See if this is conductive. Or he's a Hindu guy. My vote is, my vote is probably oh, going to be yes. Too. Yeah, they may have we closed everything see. down. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh. Let's try Wegmans. Oh, now that's cool. Monday, De December 26th. Yeah, everything's closed. Until after. Yeah, everything's closed, guys. Until after volts. Christmas. I'm gonna zoom in and see if I can get a good view of that. Because that, that's really cool. Alright. Probably we'll not the Chinese place, so. And the camera, you can see this. Probably not. You see those Go to DoorDash. Let's see what's open in DoorDash. It's probably Chinese uh, place. I'm telling you. Oh my god, I love it. You get Chinese place. That's so cool. There you go. We could get it's egg rolls like at least. Uh, yeah. Coming off. It's almost that's like cool. the inside of one Have of those. Have some egg uh, rolls. I don't know what it's called. One of those globes that like it's a globe and it has a little ball in the middle, and like you put your hand on it, and like the electricity goes to your hand. They're Those not open. All the delivery dates is like the 26th, the 27th. So I guess distilled water really isn't all that conductive. The next item that I want to see if it is conductive I love my is liquid hand soap. I really don't know. I hope this is not. Oh. Gross. I have no idea if this is going to be conductive. I don't even have the slightest clue. Ew! So, like before, what we'll do... Crazy. Frickin' scan soap. All 4,500 volts. I really hope. I mean, I know this isn't going to happen. What would be really cool is if as soon as the electricity hit it, if it just started just bubbling up and foaming a lot, that would be McDonald's. Cool. We got McDonald's. Start way over here on the side. Applebee's. These places are still open. Okay. That's, that's violent. Soap is really conductive. And it just like vaporizes. Aw, oh, shit. No. 
Ah. Yeah, it's like vaporizing. And you Fucking smell crazy. It mm. Ooh. Burger King is closed. Yeah, yeah they do. Arby's is closed. It's spewing closed. soap everywhere. Oh, the ground is bubbling a little bit. Probably from, probably from the heat. Uh, I don't want to keep doing that. That's getting soap everywhere. I'll do it a couple more times. Jesus, that is such a violent reaction. Oh, oh. I could, I could have been mad. Let's stay over here. Ah! Uh. Okay, I think I've had enough of that. Oh, that's gonna be so bad. Soap is gonna be everywhere. Soap I know, is Tyler. Extremely conductive. I would not have guessed that in a million years. So, this next thing that I wanna try. I've never done this before, but since we have all of this high yeah, voltage, this is going to be better. a perfect Apple opportunity to, to try this. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's called Please like a Lynchburg art, or it's, it starts with an L, and it's a type of art where you take uh, baking soda and water, and then you dump it on a piece of wood, and then you put electrodes at either end, and then the electricity kind of like... This taco just bell like carves its way yes, through the wood, and it's supposed yeah. to make like these cool designs. I have uh, baking soda and water in this bottle, and I'm I sure it's probably it's not the right. Oh, it's closed. Or whatever, yeah. I don't Never mind. Everything's sure fucking closed. It looks like it. I don't know what ratio it was. How about McDonald's? So I'm just kind of McDonald's is probably closed. Kind of soak the board it's down. Yeah, everything's closed. So that's nice and wet. <clears throat> And we'll take our ground. Sheets is not. Uh, they're always the open. They are always open. All oh, right, sheets. Yeah. I should just be able to touch this electrode to this. Let's see. And it should start doing its thing. Let me look. Okay. So we'll see how true that is. Hey, Tyler, keep going. Spicy, sweet, chili, Doritos. Oh, it's working. Yummy. I love them. Oh, what is that? It's working. Oh, kind of. Oh, maybe it needs some more water. That's actually working beautifully. Maybe we just need just a little bit more. A coffee. A coffee. Ooh. 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 That was pretty intense. Okay, I see the problem here. I think the problem is that the heat makes all the water evaporate. That actually looks like that could be pretty cool. Once again, no more than that. Oh, really? I'll go multiple places. Praise God. Okay. Hot drink does sound good, doesn't it? Yeah. Clean that up, and then we'll we'll see what our results are. So you can see that I scrubbed this up, and whenever you look at it, you can see here where I was touching it, and over here, it's extremely deep. Like the electricity really dug deep into the wood rather than trying to like get across the wood. But you can still see kind of through here to this area, you can see those really small uh, paths that actually look really cool. And it'd be cool if I could get those all the way across. I feel like this is like actually not that bad for the very first time ever doing this and also doing it with 509 volt batteries. <laughs> definitely if I knew more of what I was doing, I could definitely do this and it would come out a million times better. But this is still cool nonetheless. And I'll probably put this on eBay for like uh, $10,000. So nice. On to our final experiment. All right, now. <laughs> This next test is stupid. I'm fully aware of that, but I've never let stupidity stop me before. So what we're gonna do is wow. I have three packs that of hot dogs. That amazing how you put that together, baby so girl. What I, what I, I love you. I love you. I'm amazing, girl. Happy how Christmas. Many hot dogs. The electricity will travel through just by simply like laying them down and putting mm. hands touch. So. This might be really guys, stupid. This might only go one or two hot dogs. Yeah, the you get what you want. I got the mirror. We're going to do it anyway. Okay. We're just going to take the copper nail, kind of stick it through the first hot dog, about to about there. And then we'll hook our ground to that. This and is so crazy with the hot dogs. So, what we're going to do is, <laughs> obviously, I know. this is going to work. 
So if we touch the land. <laughs> okay. We knew that was going to work. I didn't expect all that. Let's unhook our ground. Show this for safety. <laughs> Fucking conducted hot dogs. Right there. What a, what a, what a, what a crazy dude, man. Alright, so that's two hot dogs. Let's see if it works with two hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, it shot a hole. Yeah. Yeah. There's a gap in those hot dogs now. <laughs> I was trying to burn on the table. It didn't bring a real burn on the table. Because of the hot dogs. Let's go ahead and do uh, four or five hot dogs. This whole table's like stacky. Start making a little a little U turn right there with our hot dogs. See it one, two, three, four, five. So five hot dogs. Let's see. <laughs> It'll go through five of them. This is so dumb. But I'm I'm loving this. Every second of this. You know, let's go ahead and do this. I'm just gonna set them all up. Because I, I honestly think that it'll go through all of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set them all up and then Crazy Bastard. And we'll try it and we'll see. Alright. Uh, let's go let's just start over here. Alright, we have 20 hot dogs lined up. I really think this is gonna work. No problem. I think they're all touching. Let's go ahead and give it a try. 20 hot dogs. Okay, who's not touching? Oh. <laughs> oh. You gotta hook the ground up to complete the circuit. I got it. I'm so excited that I got way ahead of myself. Now we can, now we can touch hot dogs. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20 hot dogs. It'll go right through 20 hot dogs. Jeez. I'm gonna say. <laughs> All right, so that's some more. I cannot think of anything else that I'd rather be doing at 2.30 in the morning than lining up hot dogs to electrocute them. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to do like a little... Self-design. We'll put these here, and we'll just keep them... Boy. I don't know if you can hear that. They're all staticky. Every time you touch them, I get shocked. There's not even anything connected to them. That's very odd. 30 hot dogs. <laughs> Ooh, I'm having, this is, this is way too much fun. It should be illegal to have this much fun in your own garage. <laughs> he loves it. It's not as strong, so it's starting to dwindle down. So, the hot dogs might actually have some, some pretty decent resistance. Where else on YouTube can you find this kind of content? Someone shocking, electrocuting hot dogs at 2.26 in the morning on Monday night. Crazy bastard. So crazy. See how much stronger that is here versus like here? Jeez, that, that <laughs> smokes out all the hot dogs. But why are you doing it over here? No, we oh, can't. Smokes it out there a little bit. That's because there, there's a gap between those. No gap. Ah, it still smokes a little bit. But then let's go like. Here. <laughs> Holy shit. He's electrocuting hot dogs, Salt Webster. If your question is left unanswered of uh, how many hot dogs the, the, all these batteries will go through, I don't have any more hot dogs, but I'm just going to assume that it'll probably go through somewhere around probably 50 to 70. So that's, that's really all I have for you guys today. The, uh, 
We've done it all. We even electrocuted 30 hot dogs at once. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If there's anything else that you want to see me shop with these batteries, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one. You crazy bastard. Question is, what, what kind of crazy shit could you do to a girl if you use that as a sex toy? Holy shit, Jason, you kill her! No, man, I, if you, if you, if you, not that ampage. A lot less than that. A lot less. You killed the chick, bro. Mm -hmm. Not with that, yeah, you wouldn't use that. I have to make a shopping list. The kids are gonna want snacks. This looks Ugh, so dumb. Job. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Screw that. I apologize. Alright guys, so one of the videos that you guys have been requesting me to do for a very long time now is you have wanted to see if you can weld with 9 volt batteries. So I went out and I got a couple 9 volt batteries. Each one of these boxes has 12 <laughs> 9 volt batteries. So I just got a couple. So in total, I have 300 nine volt batteries. So I'm that's sorry, obviously going to uh, supply the power for this test. Oh. I also, of course, that's have not what you want. welding rods, and of course, we need a piece of metal. No. Let's get started. All right. So one of the first it's steps not. we're going to do is we're just going to decide where we're going to cut our metal. And for those of you that care, this is a this is mild steel. It's one square inch tube, and it is one sixteenth of an inch thick. For those of you that care, obviously we don't have to be very precise with this, so we're just gonna kind of go. We'll cut it, say there, and there. There we go. Can you put in um, your card number? Yes. Okay. All right. So obviously we have our this metal cut. Over. They're not the same size. It really doesn't no. matter. We're just trying to build. Okay. Look. The other. So. Now that we have the metal oh, cut, let's start yeah. putting all our batteries together. Lucky. Okay. <coughs> this is nuts. So he's putting all these batteries together <coughs> to electrocute shit. To see if you can weld with 300 9 volt batteries. Out of his fucking mind. To me, it's cool as shit that he's doing that. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Where's our Gavins? Yeah, we need our Gavins. Oh, you need to try one of these. They're so good. Are they? Yeah. I like them better than the original peanut butter cups. All right, as you saw, we have all 300 batteries hooked up okay. all together. So now I have made a little mm. thing to show you how powerful all of these are hooked together. So it's very simple what I've done. Obviously, I have to here that is negative. Right. I just put a screw I rather. to here. For the positive side, I have taped one of the leads with a copper nail to this piece of PVC. <laughs> then I will hook it up down here, and then I can touch these together mm. and show you how much power this is. All right, we're all hooked up. Mm. There's a flavor in there. It's not exactly like a Reese's. I like it. It mm. kind of tastes like honey. I don't know. A little bit of honey taste. Ooh. Jesus, he's nuts. This actually doesn't look that impressive. Alright, my bad. I had the batteries hooked up wrong. Let's try. Go for try number two. Alright, now let's see how much power we got. There we go. That's what I wanted to see the first time. Woo! Let's go ahead and try and see if we can weld with that. Alright guys, so you guys have now seen how much power all these batteries have, so let's stop talking about it and let's just do it. My plan is, I'm just going to put this ground. Let right it there, snow, clean, let it snow, it let it together, snow. And they can just sit uh, right like that. And I'm gonna hook this, this dude is so nuts. Yep. I have my welding rods. It's and like red green rod, though. Just like I was doing before, I'm just going to use this piece of... How you doing, PVC. guys? Today we're going to deep fry lighters. 
land of here, I'll be able to put it on the deep frying of the lighter. Should we show them the deep frying of the lighter? Mine as well. And okay. Microwaving. And microwaving? Yeah. As you can see. Hilarious shit. So, let's just do this thing. Can you mm. weld with 9 volt batteries? Yes. Three, you can weld with 9 volt batteries. I don't know. Can you? Hi, kitty. Holy shit. Holy shit. Out of his mind. It doesn't seem to work at all. It just kind of... Oh. <clears throat> that smells horrible. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. I'll try it again, though. Kitty, kitty, oh, kitty, yeah, 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 yeah. It keeps trying to get stuck, which kind of makes me a little nervous. Not even, not even attack weld. Let's just be destructive, and let's just hold it close to there and see what happens. That's nuts, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really cool. Oh, my God. It looks like it's just kind of burning the, the stick, right? People must be spending time with their family right now. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, exactly. And I'm happy they are. Yeah. What I want to know, if you just have one 9 volt battery, okay? Okay. One 9 volt battery, it's 9 volts. If this battery was to get down to, say, 5 volts, Okay. I shocked it with all of the 299 batteries that are left. Wow. You know, if I just put the positive on one side and the negative, just kind of like tapped the negative or put the negative on, just kind of tapped Hi, the positive kitty. a couple times. If it was at, say, 5 volts, would that little shock bring it up to, like, 6 or 7 volts? And I don't, I don't really know the answer to that question. I'm thinking no, but I'm try. So, what we're going to do, this is this battery's pretty much new, so we're going to drain all the juice out of it. What we're going to do that is we're going to turn We're it good, kitty! We're, we're good. good, how are Please. you? Merry Christmas! We should start getting yeah. some juice out of it if we kind of massage it. I'm just kidding. What we're going to do, we are going to drain all the juice out of it, but Man, um, you we're going to use this bar. blower motor. Cut I'd love to split like a mound. I haven't even confirmed it this Jason time. Jason wants a mound. I got munchies, apparently. You can see that it does. That's the These shit. leads here. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Connect negative to the negative. Oh my god. Oh my god. The PlayStation Store holiday sale is live. Enjoy. I don't care. And why do I love these? Because it's like the savings on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Exactly. Positive. I'm obsessed with macros. Positive to this positive. Negative. That's negative. And then. We're one. watching Tyler Tube do Until some weird things with batteries. Wow. He's kind of like Red Green in his way. Alright, so it's been probably about an hour and 45 minutes, and this battery has way more juice in it than I thought because I figured that this fan, I figured it would have been dead by now. So It's not dead by now, though. So we're going to take a little quiz there. Mm hmm. Then we're going to check the voltage of the battery, mm -hmm. see what it's up to, or down to, I should say. This is nuts. Oh. We are at 7.61 volts. That'll go up a little bit since there's... I wish we could watch the Red Green Christmas <clears throat> special. That'd be amazing. I, we can't do that, though. No, it's copyrighted. No. So 7.63, roughly, will be our... I would. Yeah. Hi, Rooksall. How are you? Merry Christmas. I'm going to go to the negative to all the other batteries. I will still be wearing the welding helmets. Just in case something... That's okay. Spend time with your family. We'll be here all night. Then I'm going to touch the positive. Just for a second. Just a little bit. We'll check the voltage and see where it's at. Oh Three, shit. Two, one. Brr. One. Yes. Green. We'll see where that gets us. We were at seven point six. That was 3. beautiful looking. Fucking green. Just from that little touch. See where we're at. Oh, it's 
Is it dead? Let's see. 7.8. You powered it a little. So, it's definitely an increase. So let's touch a little bit longer, see if we can get it. Get he powered up a fucking battery that way. That's insane. Three, five seconds. Three, two. Oh, I'm sorry, Rick Salt. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Well, that's Tom seems, Green. Uh, a little bit extreme. Let's check the now. See where Some we're Tom at. Green would be great. Aw. Yeah. Come to me if it gets too stressful. Uh, we'll talk about it. Like yeah. You can put, you can put, so it's kind of what I expected. You can put a little bit of juice back into it, but not that much. All right, so I can hear the comments now. I know that, obviously, this battery is not rechargeable, and I know that with the I don't know. I think he's perving, Brooke. flooded with people that are going to say, well, this only didn't work perving. because it wasn't a rechargeable He battery. wants adult so, entertainment. Go to a, di a different site. This a isn't the site for that. We're the same test, but this, one. this is adult this entertainment. This, this dude is shocking fucking 9-volt batteries and making cool fucking electrical arcs. Freaking science, points. man, in a redneck type of way. Yeah. I think the standard is 1.5. No, actually it's not. It's 1.2. So this battery is... Hearts, you! Kill I love battery. you! Just like we did the last one. I love you. So, let's see if it even has enough power to operate this. <laughs> no. Not sure why this didn't occur to me before, yeah. but I have a flashlight that takes... Oh! So... Revy Coos having some wings. Yeah, I have one. But flashlight takes two. So yeah. We'll two of these rechargeables in they here. are good. Then that dip is awesome. The we'll dip is really good. It. Yeah, I don't want to take too much of it out. About three hours. I'll have one. I'll have one. See you in there. Yeah. But there's basically nothing left. There's barely enough light on the LED for me to be able to tell that it's yeah. on versus off. See, I love light. So let's check the voltage. Where are we at? What the fuck? Really? So we are at 0.7, oh, wait, my 0.790, okay. 0.791. It'll probably continue to go a oh, little yeah. bit while it's, oh. since there's not a load on it anymore. So we'll just say 0.8. Mm. We'll let it sit for a couple minutes and kind of stabilize, and then we'll take another reading. Mm. Then we'll see if we can, uh, like, wow. supercharge it so this battery's had a few minutes to stabilize. Let's see mm. where we're at now. Eight point, it's going back to mm. 1.8.4, 0.84, mm. and 0.839. Mm-hmm. 0.841. Mm-hmm. So about 0.84 is where we're at. Now we're stabilized that. These are so, so bomb. These are badass wings. This side, of course, is the positive. Mm. So we're going to hook up the positive right there. I know this is a black wire, but it is going to be positive. Mm. And I'm going to have to switch my leads around because my positive is on this side and negative is on this side. So I'm going to have to hook the pole oh. on this side. And I love the way this light up on this side. Mm -hmm. So here's going to be my plan. On the 9 volt battery, whenever I held it on there for a long time, it just kind of started melting. Mm. And it was just kind of, you know, just melting plastic and stuff. So with this oh. one, what I'm going to try to do oh. is just mm. keep, it's just like keep tapping it. Over it's so and hot and though. That, maybe that way I won't, it won't They melt. start getting hot. hot and Ooh. Keep shooting mm. the juice okay. It's probably one is enough for me. It's going to happen. It's probably going to be Crunch Master. Oh, that's Crunch so good. Crunch Master, where kids make their own snacks for that's once really with gluten-free Crunch Master crackers. Whose crunchery will win? Ten out of ten for taste, one hundred for crunch. Oh. Create your own crunchery with Crunch that is Master. That's so good. My mouth so is you're burning. For NJM. Yes. But they don't even have a map. Scott. That's kind of the point. Ouch. Well, I... Two. One. Oh. Oh, that's so good. <coughs> oh. That is so heavenly. Mm -hmm. mm. My tongue is so... I want to have more, but it's like, I also don't want to... 
feel it. Mm. The heat is cumulative. He's gonna burn his house down? He hasn't yet. Exactly what I said. Mm-hmm. You do say that a lot. That boy is out of his mind. Uh huh. So it did get some life back. I got Watch, this will be the time that it explodes or something. Right, we'll go, let's go five or six more times. No. See, see okay. Happens. I'm going to try to not tap it in the same place like it last time. Here we go. Oh my god. This is nuts. Fucking nuts. I got the munchies or something, man. Yeah, I hit a munchie wall. So we both hit the like the munchy munchies. Yeah. I think that happened. Oh. Pull my tongue down. I love those things. I love them. I don't know if I have one soon. Okay. I think I'm ready. Mmm. They are so good. Rashi asked if you'd get your nose pierced again. I actually think I like the way my nose looks better without it. I think I'm over. But I want to get my Labre again and my ears pierced with black. You know what I mean? Just like that black button looking. Mm -hmm. I want to get my ears and my Labre again. I like the Labre. Yeah, this is what Shannon watches when she's not on Twitch. Yeah. I don't watch the freaking drama shit. I watch this shit. It's entertaining. Mm hmm. I mean, why not? Oh, no. I love engineering. Oh. <clears throat> ooh, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's dead, dude. Really? Is it just snuffing? That's it? Let's try a couple less batteries and see if the motor's still good. Alright, well, the motor's dead. Yeah, you killed it. You put too much power on it, Tyler. Put in random things in a deep fryer. There we go. As experts in online, you ever seen random Purdue stuff University in a deep fryer? You all the flexibility You're about to. To balance school, work, and life, take classes a hundred percent online to fit your schedule, your pace, and your personal. So, this may be alarming to some of you, but I now own a deep fryer. <laughs> and if you've seen me before, it's definitely not really going to be used for food. So, in today's video, the plan is... We're just oh my god, that's crazy, Brooke. See what happens. 
So let's get this thing filled up with oil. I have one gallon of peanut oil. Munchies will make you combine different food Not together that you normally wouldn't. Pouring this in here. Correct. Yeah. I don't know anything about deep fryers, but I'm going to assume that you're supposed to fill it up to... Oh, actually, you know what? I just saw it has a lot. Let's fill it up to that line. So now we're going to turn it on. We'll turn it up to... Oh <laughs> my god, dude. We are up to 375 degrees. So, the first thing that I want to stick in here, just just out of curiosity, some ramen noodles. Put some, some ramen noodles, noodles in a deep fryer. I don't think anything's going to happen with that. I don't know what you would expect either. Put them in the basket. Let's um, put them in. I'll just put them in until I feel like they're done. No! Oh, that's pretty good. This is stupid. No, it's not! It's amazing. Where the hell did the Oreos go? Oh, I found them. See? Like, what the fuck, bro? It's harder. What a shock. No, they don't feel very different. I want to take a bite out of these, but they're going to be too hot. Do it. Let me get some paper towels. I didn't eat much today. Grab this up in some paper towels. Welcome to my club. I'll eat. I'm getting something. Don't worry. I got me a salad. It's actually not bad. That's right. I got me a salad. Huh. I mean, it's extra crunchy. I mean, I like ramen noodles raw anyway. But it's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's move on to something else. So, the ramen noodles weren't too bad. So, what we're going to do, uh. move on to something that I hate. And we're just going to stick it in here and leave it in there for quite a while and just see what happens. Wait, what's that lovely lady? Let's, let, let me give you some attention. Ugh. Transmission just went out. It's been slipping, but now it's driving case emergency only. But I'm blessed. A gentleman already ordered a part and will install everything for two. 12000 Oh my god, thank god. You could have gotten that a lot more expensive. Thank god, lovely lady. Like, I have e ever eaten a salad? No, this is the first time I'm eating a salad, Cece. I'm trying to get healthy. <laughs> Pickles in a deep fryer. I, a deep fried pickles are the shit, dude. Put some tempura on that shit. No, put some tempura on that shit. Bro. Bro should put some tempura on that shit. I wish we had a gavel. I'm just going to hold the pickle like this, and I'm going to step over here and drop the pickle in there, and we'll see what happens. Three, two. People say the strangest things. I know. I was just accused of never eating a salad. <laughs> okay. Actually, I wasn't saying that loud. <laughs> You're not fucking vegetarian for like what? Most of your life. It really is hilarious, though, if you think about it. <laughs> Ranch isn't a vegetable. Oh my god. For real. <sighs> Whatever, heathen. Come on. Did you just call me a heathen? Yes, I called you a heathen. Suck it.
I can try Dino Barbecue. Okay, what's Dino Barbecue? <laughs> that looks beautiful. I need that. It actually just looks burnt, actually. Now that I get a really good look at it. Right, so let's, we'll put it to the side. We'll let, that, we'll let that cool down before we investigate it. Next thing I want to try, and I, I know this is probably going to explode, but snack. Little Richard Grabber here. Three. A doodad. Two. <clears throat> one. Uh huh. I know, right? <laughs> Chicken periods. Let's eat some chicken period. Hey, chicken period is fucking tasty. It can be. I actually got me a bagel with some chicken period on a on an actual. I forgot we got you. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. I have a coffee on. It's like. That's what I was hoping for. I'd eat Rev on a bad day. Honey, I'd have Rev in my mouth on a good day. What the fuck are you talking about? Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. It's hot. You were in today several times. Watched. <laughs> wow. That's hot. Yeah. That's really hot. What the fuck you talking about, Christina? Gavin. Anyway, back to the show. Spread oil everywhere or something. Let's take this out of here. All right, now we'll let this one cool down as well. Let's get back to this pig. Yeah. I just needed to grab my knife here so I can cut this pig. Oh. Ah, uh, fried green tomatoes are so freaking good. I love those things. I I want to grow some tomatoes so I can have fried green tomatoes. Huh. Eat it. Really it's good. It's fucking good, Tyler. He hates pickles. But it pretty much just looks the same. It just kind of looks burnt on the outside. I'm still not brave enough to try it because, as you know, I really hate pickles. So now let's see. Let's I see love pickles. Thomas the Train? What the fuck? What the fuck? Ew! See? See how runny it is? It barely even cooked. Huh. I figured that well, maybe you should de shell it in the oil and it's see what happens. Oh, but I figured it would have cooked. Alright, now let's move on to something else. Okay. Right, so the next thing that I want to try is Orbeez? Orbeez. Because, like I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. if you've ever done any cooking, right? The kids and yeah, the grandparents. Saying. We'll do, Roxy. Savor it. Boy. Wow. Ah. We believe there's an innovator in all of us. That's why we build technology that helps everyone. All right, Rook. Enjoy your smoke things. on. Holy shit. So how's it going to react when it has a Orby filled with water in it? Right, I don't just, know. Just one Orby. See what happens when I drop it in there. Three, two. <laughs> no. I didn't make the Amazon wish list. I know I need to. That should be like my New Year's resolution is getting that Amazon list done. Yeah. Like well, they're certainly frying. Yeah. Oh, they're getting loud. I should watch something festive. Like what? It's like even they all still the same copyrighted. It's copyrighted. I know. Daddy's gonna kill Ralphie. Daddy is gonna kill Ralphie. He's frying Orbeez. I know. It's fucking weird. It is weird. It's like they just keep cooking and nothing happens. 
<laughs> the sound. Mm -hmm. It's glorious. Other than, other than being loud, it doesn't seem like anything's happening. They are loud. It looks like the water inside of them is boiling. <laughs> I'm sure I can probably never get, never get close enough up so you can see that. But Aw, you're but sweet, Brooke. Like yeah, that. yarn is very much needed. Like pink, especially. Holy fuck. The sound of them is awesome. Very hot. Sounding. Yeah. Yeah, it what is pricey yarn. I don't want to get too close because I, I feel like there's a chance that one of them could Everything is pricey. But they didn't even, they really didn't even shrink. I'd love Man. to do freaking experiments like this. I figured they would at least shrink or I something, but they're just. I have time. live stream this shit of my experiments of doing really yeah. weird shit. Alright, now this, this next one, I don't think anything's gonna happen, but I wanna try it. So, Golf balls. balls! I don't wanna put in there. I don't know if they. Nothing's if they gonna happen with a golf ball. I think your we'll new year's resolution should be to get the money together to do the garden of Eden on your butt. We'll put them down in the middle. That's what I think. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Our All door right, dash has been picked up. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I don't like it makes this I don't like it when it makes those noises. Oh, they seem soft. Alright. Let's let these cool down and we'll come back to them. Now this next yeah. one. I'm really excited about this one. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. You would think it would pop. Well, let's see. Let's just put this bag. Oh, the He's bag. Right in bag popcorn. Oh, we might have a problem. Now soaking it in there, I don't think is gonna be the right approach. So I'm gonna kind of just dip it a couple times, maybe. See if it starts popping. <laughs> there we go. I found yeah. something to do next. Okay. I think they'll like that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Sounds good. <coughs> what a mullet. It's not doing anything in the popcorn? It should pop. You'd think it would pop. Just leave it in there. Leave it in there for a minute or so. What? You'd think it would pop. Is it pop it? Pop. Popcorn? I hear a book goes. I guess it's not going to. We'll pull this out and put That's it in weird. In Just in case something happened that's out of there. I'm down. Yeah, there. man. For this next one, I'm going to be standing on this chair so mm -hmm. I can see what's going on. Right? This one's going to be for that's the uh, probably two and a half girls that watch my videos. Bath bombs. There we go. Open this thing up. Two and a half girls? You're one of them. Oh, man. Hey, I like his shit. I don't oh, care. Man. Yeah, you love them. Why do, why do people use these? Oh, they're they're beautiful. Them. Don't, no, no. Right. Tyler, you can't knock the bath bomb, okay? Especially CDs. Yeah, they make you happy. Very happy. Really? Half of it just crumbles off the Oh, yeah. Oh, that's usually how it works. That's usually how it works. Yeah. All these things were supposed to like hold together. Like, no. Are they just gonna crumble into pieces? Yeah, they that's how they work. Yeah. Bath bombs. I know they just fall apart as you touch them. Oh, this one's falling apart too. All right, Rooksalt. Yeah. Maybe these.
these are just cheek. I guess we're just gonna be putting chunks of that on there. Denny's Starbucks and I hope so these are and I hop are open on Christmas in Boston Market. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Hopefully. Really? You can't even get the, the... <coughs> Look at that. It's just completely falls apart. What is this garbage? Let's just grab a hold of this one. <laughs> what is this garbage? He thinks it's garbage. Let's just see what happens when we put these in here. It's not even that good of a reaction. Not really. It looks better in water, Tyler. Yeah, it's cool in water. <laughs> well, I think the bath bombs were failed. Yeah, that's not even a good reaction. That's horrible. For some reason, I figured it would be more than that. Yeah. So let's move on to our final object. Denny's on Christmas, bro. Hi, Roxy. <laughs> what you doing, right, sweetheart? So last item I created <laughs> this custom Tyler tube pouring device. I taped onto a piece of PVC pipe. And I created Aye. this because I don't know what's going to happen. So we're going to pour in. A little bit of gas. What the fuck, Tyler? This, let's let's deep fry some gas. Let's yeah, deep fry some freaking gas. Over here. Over right, here. We'll dump this in. We'll see what happens. Three. This is nuts, bro. Two. One. Oh my Bro's god, gonna it's gonna explode. <laughs> oh my god, that's some burden. That would kill you. Oh my happening. god. Wow. Well, don't dump fucking gas and oil. That wasn't really what I expected. So, now there's gas everywhere. <coughs> yeah, there's gas everywhere. Well, gee, Tyler. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like that if there's that. anything else you want to see me put inside of this deep fryer, leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. Let's He's fucking nuts, dude. Let's do some gas. Let's pour some gas in that shit. Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You got the layers in the fucking deep fryer. Alright, this is the next thing. Strange Christmas paranormal stories. Yeah, yeah. Not this, of course, but, you know. Merry Christmas, Snow Queen! Merry Christmas. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Liberty Mutual. They customize your car insurance. So Merry you Christmas to everyone. I love you. Here, we'll put the, uh that on too so you guys can know what they're saying while we're talking for those who are interested in this think you'll make the whole 24 oh yeah I'm Mr. Black and this is Beyond Creepy and this is this year's Christmas video in J.F. Roto Rome's book Monsters of the World Volume 3 there is a rather peculiar tale involving a sighting of a white-haired, abominable creature. While that might not be out of the ordinary to your You're welcome, Snow Queen. The context in which the creature was seen definitely is. And it is for that reason I'm including it in this video. You couldn't do it? I, I did the 48-hour one. That's a challenge. 24 is nothing. 1978. Paula and Randy Bales had decided to take their young daughter, Emily, and her friend, Christina Long, to the small town of Christmas, Michigan. Yes, it's a real town. Christmas, Michigan. As part That's of a nice. fun December holiday yeah. trip. Yeah, right? They drove from their home in Traverse City and spent the night in Sault Ste. Marie in this Ontario. This is creepy Christmas story. Paula recalled yeah. that That's awesome. the weather was quite bad. Lots of snow Ontario and blizzard-like like conditions. Eh? They ended up setting off for the town of Christmas, which is about two hours from Sault Ste. Marie. They planned on doing some Christmas shopping and taking pictures. 
What age would it be forever? Probably 19. Paula recalled that as they came over the hill into Christmas, the first things they noticed was a giant Santa in the distance. I should stream all the, the way to 2023. Wet, a wet, flaky type snow. Oh, that'll be a tough that one, Aries. I would have to sleep. It, up. it hurts. It reminded her of a Christmas Sleepy. card. The kids were very excited. Our, uh, food is they coming. pulled into the parking lot no? of a place yeah, called Santa's awesome. Workshop. I can't function. A gift shop with a large Christmas display. Designed to look That's like That's so North pretty. Pole. The girls hopped out of the vehicle and immediately began running around the beautifully lit structures. They then ran into a gift shop and asked the staff where the reindeer were located. While the girls were in the store, Paula and Randy stood chatting out in front of their Bronco. Paula asked him to retrieve the camera from the truck because she wanted to get a picture of the giant Santa and abominable snowman display. I wanted to hurry and get a picture of the abominable snowman because the snow was piling up on it to the point where you could hardly see the brown fur underneath it. He was, he was what? a perfect white looking snow monster oh that would make a great picture for the family. Randy looked over and told me, they really come working. That's great. I didn't expect they had a He was referring to the abominable snowman by its name Hispanic from the now. yearly Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer right, animation, exactly. Emily's favorite. Oh. As Randy went back to the truck and grabbed the camera, Paula reached into her purse. When the two met again at the side Sammy of the vehicle, food? they looked back at the display what? and noticed that the And I got some rice and beans on the side. Randy like wondered aloud where he was, yeah. to which they both assumed that it must have been a fellow in a costume who had walked away before they could get the picture. Paula told Randy to go and fetch the guys so they could get their picture. Mangle. Randy rushed to the side of the building where he saw the tall, hairy Mangle. fellow walking the away. The tall, hairy fellow? Ran up to Randy Boy. and together they watched this. This is boring. To be a giant man we need to watch costume. something better than that. Boy. Tyler was really good. Deadly temperatures take their toll as winter storm grips the U.S. Bro. Yeah. Hasanabi. That sucks. Doesn't Hasanabi have oh, some Chantel issues? says, hi, I need a mental health break. The internet is rough and sometimes it doesn't get to me. And sometimes, honestly, it's all just too much and I need some time away. I think a break away from social media for a period of time could be healing and allow a period of reflection and self-improvement away from a toxic environment where people are not picking apart every move, my every move. And I agree with her because I get the same type of treatment. I will spend quality time enjoying my new marriage and living life here. I will stop fighting with others on this platform and make my moves in secret as needed. I keep failing at this, but I'm hoping by repeating these same mistakes that I will finally learn what is best for me. Thanks for allowing me this time to work on myself, FB. All right. Well, I'll see you when I see you, girl. I'll see you when I see you. Bless her heart. Too much for her. What did Michael? What's the best Christmas film ever? Let's watch some Michael Rappaport. Yeah, man. Yeah. The Sultan of Sniff. The Sultan of Sniff, babies. You're a degree-seeking scholar. This isn't just a job. It's transferable. Okay. College credit. Getting you. Hey, Kevin. Good luck. And nothing can stop. Yo, what's up? This is my YouTube page. Leave a comment. Write a review, ask a question, I will write you back. A lot of the times, I will write you back. Welcome to my YouTube page. Of course, when it comes to Christmas, what are you going to be watching besides sports? I was thinking about the, you, the great well, Christmas yeah, I guess films. So. There's so many great holiday films, Christmas films. films See, it's Christmassy. The backdrop is Christmas. 
um, that aren't necessarily Christmas no, films. No, I haven't had a Brazilian. Uh, it's not like, you know, Santa Claus uh, or Scrooge or the Grinch. When your whole hoo-ha uh, is... Or any of those things. Oh, yeah, it's, a it's, a it's, it's a wonderful nope. life. It's a wonderful life. You know, it's considered one of the great holiday films of all not time. Not going Christmas to either. Of all times. But now... I am Rappaport Stereo Podcast, Michael Rappaport's favorite, and reminding you of the favorite Christmas holiday films of all time. Obviously, It's a Wonderful Life. Again, well, like it's not a Christmas film. Yes. It takes place during Christmas. It's more about redemption. It's more about uh, uh, you know finding yourself being the best person you could possibly be. It lives up to all its expectations and the hype. Tear jerker, weird, old yeah, that film is old. It's my favorite talk, Christmas looks, movie, though. The sets, the fake it's a wonderful snow, life. Everything is just bizarre. But it's a classic, and it always gets you. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh, yeah. Charlie Brown. Oh, yeah. I, I, I he sounds Charlie like Brown us. Christmas. Yeah, he does uh, sound Charlie like Brown us. Charlie Thanksgiving. And I forgot which one it was. It might have been Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, but I remember watching one of these Charlie Brown movies uh, where Charlie Brown ran away. And I was crying. I was with my brother. I was about Oh, bless six. him. And Charlie Brown, I can't remember which Charlie Brown it was, where Charlie Brown ran away. And I was yeah. crying, and I was making noise. My brother was like, shut up. Shut up. You're going to make you're gonna, you're gonna make Dad come in and turn off the TV. This is when we only had three channels, two, four, and seven. Maybe it was <laughs> five and 13, but they would go <laughs> off early. Uh, but Charlie Brown Christmas is one of the great films. Yep. Uh, holiday films. Home Alone. Excellent. Yep. Needs no introduction. Yeah. Little Macaulay Culkin. That's right. Joe Pesci. Um, Joe Pesci. Not necessarily a Christmas film, but Christmas theme. Man, it's a Christmas movie. That's a good. That is it. They don't make movies like Home Alone anymore. No, they don't. Is it dope? We'll never. Make, they're never gonna make movies like that again. The movie business stop. Yeah. Uh, Home Alone is a, a, a stroke of true. Blue genius. Home Alone 2. Yeah, Chris Columbus, baby. And of course, He's Elf. Really good. In my opinion, Elf is the number one Christmas movie. Yeah, I, I like you. Elf. Yeah. I think that movie is so Jewish. fucking funny. Spaghetti and chocolate Jewish. syrup. Yeah. I'm not sure if John Favreau is Jewish. Maybe he is Jewish. Maybe he's not Jewish. Uh, uh, but you know, there was also a lot of Christmas songs written by Jews. I was reading an article. Uh, White Christmas. Uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very written by a Jew. Um, let it snow, oh. let it snow, written by a Jew. A uh, walking in a winter, winter wonderland. The Jews contributed a lot to some holiday hits. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. That's awesome. I'm just saying. Uh, another Christmas film, holiday film, Die Hard. People argue whether that's hell a yeah. Christmas. Yeah. I'm not saying it's a Christmas film. I say Die it's Hard is a Christmas you film, Die though. Hard. You can watch it any time of the year, but Die Hard, holiday film, backdrop is Christmas. Yep. Yep. One of my favorite films and one of my favorite holiday. Films I love George Carlin. Theme. Let's look in some, love, some of him up. Finding I love yourself, George Carlin. family. Loving your family. Silver Linings Playbook. Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Lawrence, Bobby Nero. Great Bobby Nero. Film, holiday film. I love Silver Linings Playbook. Rocky Four. Yeah. On Christmas Day. If we could come together. <laughs> That's my favorite. Together, Rocky no is Rocky Four, together, dude. Mine too. Trading Places also took place. Uh, yeah, Trading Places. Christmas. That's a good one. I love, um, love Actually. Again, you can watch this film any time of the year. Backdrop is Christmas. Uh, but the best... What about uh, Christmas Story? Of course, Christmas Story. Awesome. The, oh, okay. Peter well, ben thank you. Billingsley, thank God he said you know, that. I used to play football with him, Peter ben Billingsley. I oh. He produced Elf. He's still in show business. I gotta hook up with him. He's plays fantasy football with Peter you know, Billingsley. Blonde from, uh, awesome. Christmas uh, Story. Um... But in my opinion, I would have to say, if it's pure Christmas, Elf has got to be the number one. Of course, there's Scrooge. There's a, a, a Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Um, but I think Elf is number one, and I go with Home Alone as number two. That is uh, I Am Rapport's, Michael Rapport's Christmas slash holiday best of movies. And since we're doing movies, since we're doing movies and since... 
Revy, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Christmas Story. We have already given up the Christmas Story. All the way. Mine is The Wonderful Life. I'm I'm just that type of sap. Yeah, but it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful movie, though. I, it's old as fuck, but it's just timeless, for, in my opinion. But for me, the Christmas story is nostalgia, too. Yeah, I always me, mine, it. too. Coveted sick I always watch awards. that. Uh, like, every Christmas. A sick documentary on Netflix. If you want to watch something over the holidays that ain't going to make you feel good, if you're feeling lonely, you're feeling down, uh, and, and you're feeling like... Uh, uh, you know, not positive. There's a documentary on Netflix called Do Don't Answer the Phone. Me too, say, Do not Roxy. Answer the phone. It's called Don't Answer the Phone. This has been suggested That's by... That's why he's OG my Cole favorite comedian, in my opinion. I rap poor stereo podcast listeners. I, I've gotten a, about... I'd say about 10 DMs about this. Let's look at... Let's Don't look up some phone. George Carlin. Three parts, yeah, three yeah, parts yeah. on Netflix. Is a sick documentary that will give you the creeps that uh, is there like a full stand-up back in town i'm sure it's that's bad true. for you that's a great one it's bad for you yeah all right we'll put some george carlin on guys be careful with banking stuff yeah merry christmas they can't see it oh okay cool it's stuck on Just this the window. see that's cool. All right. Hell yeah. Some George Carlin. HBO. Am I going to get cut off with that? Uh, 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 that's a question. You might. You might get copyright pop. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea. Let's watch a clip then. Because it's, it's fucking... Well, Clips are better. Hi, guys. Life is worth losing, dumb Americans. All right, we'll do doing? that one.
I'm thinking I might um, go ahead and wrap this stream up, even from, uh, you know, streaming it, sniping it, um, because I just think it's like, it doesn't appear to be very good quality content at all. Um, but I will, you know, later tonight, um, come back on for a little bit. I'm just kind of playing it by ear with this, to be honest, because, um, I just, you know, spending time with the family and stuff. So I don't have a lot of time to devote to it right now. And I feel like it's just really, really, uh, boring content anyway so maybe now would be a good time for a break um what do you guys think i think that sounds like a plan and then we can meet back up in a couple of hours later tonight or whatever time that will be for you guys um no i got you pain lash i've just been i've been checking back in on it and it's kind of like oh it's just seems like the what the content that they have is just really right now it's pretty boring but i keep an eye on it and um should anything start to pop off as they say i would definitely um jump back on that's the good thing my mom has been like really really cool and understanding with it all um and and not you know taking it personally or anything like that or getting pissed when um, I need to take a little break and come in here and hang out with you guys for a while. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's see. And I want to find a song to leave you guys with. Um, what do we want to do? Ooh. Mm. trying to see if there's any Christmassy anything on here on in their stuff I don't know I thought there was one yeah I found one all right that's what I'm gonna do um it appears that secular took a break from her to review yesterday's video oh cool um well, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, it's a good time, as always, even though I was kind of not here for the whole exact thing. Um, I wanted to give you guys a chance to watch it and not have to go in and watch it and give her views. Um, but uh, like I said, give me a few hours. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna keep an eye on everything, and then I'll probably jump back on. Maybe Michael will come on with me. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. Um, we'll do like a later night stream, and uh, I'll have Michael come on with me since he's off tomorrow, and we'll come and hang out for a few hours later. Does that sound like a plan, everybody? A little Christmas stream later on tonight check and we'll check in with um shani and rev and then maybe even watch a couple of other videos um it it'll i'll talk to michael and make sure that um he's up for it but i think that he would be so maybe that's what we'll uh that's what i'll shoot for doing but either way i will come back on in a little bit um i'm just gonna go do dinner and hang out with my mom for a while and then i will take a little break and come stream for a while with you guys. So, um, see you in a few hours. Let me see. Here's the song that I'm going to play for you guys. And I just hope that you guys are having a really, really nice Christmas Eve and, um, be safe out there too. You know, lots of drunk people and things on the road. So, Definitely be safe. All right, guys. I'll see you in just a little while. Bye.